Feature Friday. The freshest. Bitch. <sighs> we are live. Hello, welcome to Feature Friday. Welcome. Welcome. I'm Valeska. This is Efra. You know the drill. Yeah. You know what's up. Yeah, you know. What song are we picking up today? I don't know, but I, I actually have I have an idea. You have yeah, an idea. I have, an idea. I really, have no idea. I really like that one. That the one I'm gonna choose. Yeah, hopefully. yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you like it as well. I don't remember what it is. I don't. I don't oh, remember. Oh, great, fantastic. That's I a good start. I don't remember what you do. That's what I'm saying. I don't remember what you do in this song. Oh, I'm definitely gonna hate it. <laughs> no, no. I, I think it's good. Well, I liked it, anyways. I don't. Know. Fair enough. Hopefully That's you good. like it as well. Yeah, probably will. It is weird though when you when you make when you make music, especially like, uh, and you record it, and then say at the moment it sounded like oh. Oh, this is good. Next day, no, you're no, like... No, 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 no. It mm. sounded... When you first recorded, okay. it was like, damn, this was amazing. Yeah, and then a few hours later, when you listen back, yes. back to it, you're like... Oh, 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 it's all right. It could yeah. be good. It's all right, yeah. And then the day after, you're like, oh, this is crap. Yeah. Scratch and start again. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird. It's so strange. But then, <clears throat> there's only been a few that have been like, oh... I, uh, Ballet thinks you think is weird. That I like, I like listening back to them. Oh yes, a lot. I find that very strange. Yeah, I, I kind of like. Listen- I find very <clears throat> strange that you like listening to yourself. Well, in music. <laughs> yeah. I don't like listening to myself. I just want to learn. I just want to see see, Fair enough. see I what I like. Don't because like listening back. Or I've always been like that, even back. since little. I know. I've enjoyed I watching don't, myself. I don't even know why I don't like it. I don't know, but I usually kind of find it cringy myself. I'm like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, that. that is the case a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it is uh, easy though to cringe yourself out by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very easy. Because you're like, oh, why did I do that? Oh, I could have done that better. Oh, look at that. And now it's getting scary because like people, people are, watching. are watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and I think. Fresh. Sure. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't feel Under pressure. pressure. I don't feel pressure. I feel it's like uh, I, that's why I like watching myself every now and then because if I don't like something that I did or I don't like yeah, something that you can fix it in the future. Yeah, and then I can also be like, well, if I don't like that, it probably comes off wrong anyways because if, if the person you you know what I mean. If the person <clears> who made it doesn't like it, then yeah. So what yeah. the hell? What's what's left for the world? Yeah, I, I was seeing. I was seeing a. Do you know? So I, we were just listening to it. Enely Chopper, you know the guy that m- did that song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I am a man. It's, uh, uh, uh. That is him. It's uh. him who made that thing. And then Blueface made a remix, and mm. then it, you know everything blew up. But he just released a song. Uh, welcome down, huh? uh, welcome down. And he said, "This is the only video that I genuinely like about myself." It's funny though when you listen to some other famous people and they look back at their projects and stuff. Yeah. Like they they sometimes say that they they haven't been happy with any of the things that they've made. Like, how do you like? And obviously, you as a uh, as a member of the audience, you look at it and you think, "Come on, there has to be." But it's fire, yeah. then you make stuff yourself, and then you're like, "Okay, I understand where they're coming from." That's what I was saying to you when we were watching Lisa do the Lily film stuff. Mm-hmm. I wonder, man, like what her actual opinion on 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 all three of the ones she's made. Like what her favorite one is, or if maybe if she has a favorite, maybe that's not even it. Or maybe they shot different ones and they just didn't make it. But she yeah. like, you know what I mean? I'm so interested in that to see like uh, what their actual opinion on on not on themselves but on performances. Yeah. Oh. St. Dennis, back when I was in Venice, I made a good genesis. She took my swap, never replenished. Made a deal, now I've got success, but I now need a chemist. Me no con el diablo al lado, luego de practicar al tenis. Susurra y me mira, me dice conspira y deja que tu ira te lleve al borde o firme el contrato. Yo te daré esto, es el pacto, sin condiciones, todo se quedará intacto. Pienso y no entiendo, porque a mí se me presenta el diablo en este momento, pero no lamento. Tengo guardianes al lado que están armados y contentos. 
dope Listen, you don't clock it Behind some lows, but I stay in the pocket I copy Bills never pop it I'm building, I'm building I fly like a rocket I know I'm the plug, but I stay in the socket Stop playing games, little mama just knock it This beat is too short, I just wish they won't stop it Yeah, yeah, yeah Feature Friday F100, come on W the skate we were watching some old videos of ourselves back Aww. and it was like cringe down. Yeah, I think. <laughs> it's like there's nothing worse than working on a TV show for kids. It's the cheesiest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, no. And looking back at it, you're like, oh, oh, oh my God, how did I, wow. Yeah, and like <laughs> memories start coming up because we realized that Bale at that point, she was away. You were in Italy. Oh yeah, I was studying. And uh, I, I had to carry on with... <laughs> <laughs> I had two shows at that point, and uh, yeah, you were hosting two TV shows. Yeah, one 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 was regional TV, and then the national TV. Yeah, and and it, <laughs> oh my gosh, watching it back, Jesus Christ, it was just oh mate, <laughs> wild. You know? I wish I could share it with you all. <laughs> oh, it was wild. No, I'm not ready for that stuff to be out yet. <laughs> I mean, if people dig it up, it is what it is, but I'm not ready yet. No, let's not I'm, give I'm, names. I'm, I'm, mentally, <laughs> I'm mentally not prepared. No, we need Because it. you're a kid, right? You're a kid. And especially, I, I was watching like some of like the, the K-pop idols. They start really young. Mm -hmm. Like that thing we were seeing of uh, like they YG. Yeah, YG might sign like, or oh, whatever they call it, like startup, a new group. Oh, mm. I don't know the lingo. They're, they're starting a new girl group. Yeah, apparently. Or called, want to, called yeah. Called Baby Monsters. Or Mom... Ba Baymons. Ba Baymons. Baymons. I think that's a, that's a clean name. That's a good name. And uh, they're like Baby Monsters. I think the theme may, but might be like younger people. Yeah, like younger cute. Younger girls. It's like cute and small and whatever, adorable. Yeah. But the, some of the apparent members that might be on it, they were like, what, 12? Yeah, dude. 13? I was like, nah, there's no way they're debuting them. They're too young. It's crazy, yeah. As Could a, you imagine if they do? Dude, it's just the talent now. It's just insane. Yeah, that's the other thing, though. Jesus like, Christ. if they pick them, if they already have those in mind, they must be for a reason. I said mind really awkwardly. <laughs> if they had those in mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, I mean, <clears throat> for you to be considered for any label, I mean, even if you're really young, you must be fucking unbelievable. You have, you have to... You need to have that like spark, mm. that thing. Yeah. Anyway, shall we hit it? Yeah. So. Oh. Today's theme. Today's theme. It's it, it's it's quite, like, I feel like we're gonna need tissues and stuff. I was gonna say, bring out your tissue box right I now. I hope not. Now. I don't like crying. It's not nice. No, but this is this is a tear jerking one. Well, because I don't know. it's all about oh, except for, uh, solars. Solas, um, in solo. Yeah. <laughs> solo, solo. Wait, hold on. Uh, When's Mama Moo releasing? No, this is it. That's what they were releasing. Oh, right, right. Really? S yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just a solo thing. It's just herself. Yes. Oh, wow. Is Spin that her out. first solo? No, it isn't her first solo. I don't solo. think it's her first solo. I came across another thing. thing, and I know Huasa has another one. Yeah. I know we we in or way in. I still struggle pronouncing it. Sorry. Uh, I think she has one as well. Yeah. Obviously, Moonbio has one, and then YouTube decided to block it when we watched it. Oh yes, so fantastic! That. Yeah. We did watch it, by the way. But uh, was it a half came moon? Get clips. <laughs> well, it's technically what it is, isn't it? No. Uh, right. Wasn't eclipse? Oh, it's when it's black. Eclipse is when a planet. The wolves come out. As well like that vampires. Wow. What is wrong with you today? <laughs> what What happened to you? But did they feed you? You're strange. Okay, the point is, the point is, we keep like not making the point. Power ballads. That's the theme today. Power ballads, except for Solar, because he looks hardcore, but you know. Mate, what the hell is an eclipse? <laughs> okay. Hey, Siri. Is that when it's half? What's the definition of, of, what's the definition of eclipse? celestial body by the passage of another between it and the observer or between it and its source of illumination yeah do you want to hear the next one no 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 <laughs> we got it so yeah so it's like uh, something passing through another something that's shining i'm blocking it 
So it's when the when the moon goes dark, isn't it? No, the moon doesn't go dark. The moon's still like beaming, but from where we're standing, uh, yeah, it looks they black. Could be, they could be, no something standing in front of it. Yeah, so it looks black. Or just darker. Yeah, but yeah. It, that's when or it sort of like changes colors. You know, like no. sometimes it goes like red. No, is that that's different? not an eclipse. Oh. I'm not good with stars. It's like right Saturn falls into the moon or something. A blue dwarf. That's the thing. I know that's the thing. Uh, a what? Yeah, like a. That's like. Okay, Mariah Strange. <laughs> Mariana <laughs> Strange. That's when like a, a star blows up as a blue dwarf. This is when Ephra starts coming out with all his conspiracy theories that he watched on YouTube. I don't believe in any. It's just being at home. You just sort of like. Yeah. Okay, Anyways, power can balance. We do? Yeah? Can we go? Yeah, yeah. Power are you balance. ready or like are you gonna actually let's not start with power balance let's start with solar because i'm really excited to, i'm really like look uh, uh what do you call it yeah anticipating excited. it yeah. yeah same the teaser looked really freaking amazing yeah and i think she's really attractive so. amazing amazing i i wonder if she dances on a pole here huh she dancing who's who's dancing in the pole <laughs> solar chicken pole dance really yeah we've seen it remember i want to say yes Yes, we have. Unfortunately, I don't I remember. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. Yes, because Ephra's... All right, let's name. watch it then. Spit it out. Oh, Lord. Spit it out. Oh, Ooh. long nails. I oh. like that very much. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. This should have been in last week's podcast. Literally. Ah, oh. oh, that's awesome. What the? <laughs> what switch up? What was a switch up? And I have. Ooh! It's all in English now. This is now. beautiful. Dude, she's good looking. I love that she's like whispering. That's so cool. It's a gymnast, man. Yeah. Okay. That reminds you, do you remember those twerking videos that people used to uh, post on, on YouTube? I don't 2011, know if they still do. yeah, they yeah. still do. Isn't that like, kind of like the, the setup? The setting, yeah. yeah. The setting. I should, uh, the setting. This is what I've been noticing lately. Do you remember how we... She's so cool, I really like it. At the beginning, we were like, you know, a lot of people were saying, you know, there's certain videos that get banned because... Of hip gestures. Yeah, and stuff like that. And, and we're like, what in the planet? Thrusting. But then <laughs> you see Lisa's new video, which is, you know, this is the American Lisa sort of thing, you know, yeah. the, the one that doesn't really care about anything. But it, that. Th it that doesn't get released on mainstream media in, in, in Korea. Korea. Right. It's just on, you know, like. But this does. Yes. And it is kind of like. It's not, it's not very like hip forward. I no, no, say. no. But I'm just saying, because some of the ones that get banned, you're like, it's what true. in the planet? Why, 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 why? So it just, I'm just trying to figure out, and ever since we watched the video, I'm trying to figure out which ones go through it, which ones don't. We haven't released that video. Oh, we haven't released that video. Oh, look. Well, it was just basically a video which it, it was like showing of our band videos. We did it once where it was like uh, 18 plus videos that were a little bit too explicit. But then there's all, and there's another like compilation of videos that was just uh, because. It's like stupid reasons why videos some were banned. videos were banned in Korea. And I was like, those are really stupid. So since watching that, I'm always like, Trying to figure out, you know, if this could do well because of that and stuff like that. So I don't know. I, 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 I but think I hope so. it doesn't. I get... think so. This is fire. Yeah. This is really fire. I really like it. I support it. She's really cool though. I like the glove situation. That's the outfit. Sick. Ah, oh, she's so cool. She's in good shape though, like she's strong. Yeah. Like she doesn't look skinny. Oh god. Oh yes! That's a look. I love that. She's really attractive. Though. She spoke in Spanish there, I think. Pause. I think she did, yeah. Put it back, put it back. I think she spoke in Spanish. I think she did. No, no, fuck. <laughs> Follow where that follows me. Come on! 
Yeah. Sin prisa, pero sin pausa. Uh, Ooh, I like that. That running the guitar was insane. Oh, this is so good. This is so attractive. And I won that outfit, by the way. Just saying. That one. Nice. Ooh. Okay, that outfit is really cool as well. <laughs> I think we gloves. I really like it. Those blonde dancers are so good as well. Yeah, that lady so in the top right is good looking. The one with the short hair. So cool. That's an outfit by the way. She's so good. Oh, damn. Nice. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nice. Battle. Dude, how many outfit changes? And how many switch ups in this Jesus. song? It's so cool. The, pro the production, uh, that's why maybe we're so amped up because production level on this is just like they've, they've put and everything in there. So neon good. nails, neon dresses. Oh, and like oh, the, the whole thing, yeah. the whole thing is amazing. It, like, it, it, She's such a boss. It's made to really really captivate uh, uh, attention like get grab your attention and stick with it a hundred percent the song this is very is, unpredictable this is, is not a song to you sleep you slip on you can't you can't you have it, to it doesn't let you no it's really interesting no 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 so so entertaining so like active yeah so cool and she's gorgeous she's really good looking. That's so cool! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Did she shave her head? Or is that sort of like a... That's so awesome! Who does that? So those wigs! Pause, pause, girl! <laughs> what? No, I think it was a ball cap. You know how people can put ball caps on? Sort of like that fat bodysuit that Thor wore Yeah, in, uh... yeah. I think Spoiler so. Spoiler alert, should I say that? I mean, Come on, it's already it's like really twelve old. years long. Yeah, I don't think I don't I don't think she would. Can you imagine? Shave her head. Spit it out. Maybe it's like a. It's like I'm just, I think she was just showing herself vulnerable, in that place. God, I forgot to read the lyrics while she was showing herself bold. Okay, let's let's read the lyrics while she was showing herself bold. There wasn't any lyrics. So fire, 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 and then the break. It's just and her. then they're just. Boldy Sola. It's pretty cool. I think it's a ball, uh, ball cap. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. What if it is? That's wild. Bro. I wonder what that represents. I think it's her being vulnerable, like without, without. Hundred percent transparent. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. their their clothing. It's like, this is this is it. Yeah. You get translucent. Their no. clothing was translucent. Yeah. So you can see through her. Translucent. Is that the word? I think. All right. <laughs> to to Shay. <laughs> to to the Shay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really cool outfit too. Ooh, the color contrast is wild. So great. It's like purples and greens. Pinks and yellows and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. How cool! I just love the blonde love dancers. <laughs> yeah, that's a look and a half. Yeah, she's attractive, dude. She's gorgeous. See the earring? It's sort of like a little dragon at the end of it. Yeah. That's, that's gorgeous. It's insane, dude. Dude, the amount of dancers they use for that video as well. That was just beautiful. There's one of those a few dancers that my gosh. They had so many dancers. I think it's the same dancers that we like every time. Really? Yeah, they use the same dancers, but um, I think every time we point out like the Mama Moo dancers, we always pick out the same. That's real cool. The is that one. is that because of what you mentioned the other day? It's like labels have like their own mm -hmm. uh, uh, sort of like uh, what do you call it? Team 
of performance. Yeah. So that's the person. Even if, even if. The intro was fire. I think the intro was a, a joke. Oh yeah. And I just. I kind of wanted to be that a, that, a different the, song. That's what I like it. That's what I like it because it's not what you expect. Yeah. They give you a little teaser and then they're like, "This is what you're gonna get." But guess what? It's not. Yeah. We're gonna change it. Yeah, yeah. it's a, it's a very unpredictable song. It's very. It's really nice. It's a, it's a very uh, bizarre. It's a very boss lady song. I like it. I see. I, there's huge hit potential in that. Though. My gosh. Yeah. You know. Hundred. I, I I want that to do really well because it it has that. I don't know. I well. I mean, if it does well, it does well. But it, it has that that uh, that captivating really effect. Well. Uh, uh, it's already on the trending. Nice. So. Nice. Any, I mean, I support anything by Mamu, so I'm I'm happy for them to 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 do like explode. And this this the whole thing of like, they're actually sick. Yeah. Live. They're after actually ca- insane. Don't like saying the word sick. It sounds like I'm a 14 year old in school. Yeah, I was sick, bro. I was sick, mate. Yeah, but it's, they're actually unbelievable live. And I think they're one of those uh, bands that I think, man, it, and it, I, I, still say, I still think it's crazy to say as well. I think they're better live. I agree. Dude, that, that uh, what was it, the one we watched, Immortal? Immortal, my gosh. song medley. That's like top three things I've ever watched in my life. That was just incredible. That was an amazing... Oh, top ten, top ten. It was, <laughs> it was an amazing, like, put performance overall the band the arrangements the girls singing the, the staging just everything just worked so beautifully in that yeah. in that medley Be- it's because they're they're that good you know no you i just i just love them i i really stand mamamu i really like their stuff a lot a it's lot good. a lot a lot from a from a professional uh, standpoint i i really do enjoy their their professionalism and how they put themselves like they you can tell that they're really invested on their craft and that's beautiful have they ever as a solo made like uh, solo mini albums i have no idea we're actually quite new to the whole memo idea actually quite new to everything yeah to everything so yeah i don't i don't know i have no everything k-pop wise yeah yeah still it's this crazy. It's just so, one of the things I was talking to you earlier. Is like it's 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 so wild to me how deep that that industry is. Runs, like it yeah. isn't. Well, it's also a country, isn't it? So you're gonna get bits and, and pieces of everything. But it's like uh, it's like um, this R and B that I think this last few weeks. That's what I've been listening to. I kid what you not. What we discovered last week on yeah, the podcast. Yeah, eighty percent of the music I've been listening to since last week has been all Korean, dude. <laughs> like I, I listen, I, li- I, I was listening to rap this morning, until until now, and that's probably the other twenty percent of the time I was listening to music. Uh, uh, the the rest was all Korean, and I'm like, what? The? I don't even know what they're saying. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm trying to, and, and it's so funny because I was in the shower. No, 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 no. Yeah, and I'm like. Uh, wait, nah, what's the, 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 what are you which saying? Which one is the one that you keep singing randomly? Hanjan. 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. I just, Literally. I just find it cool. It's the funniest thing. The yeah. funniest thing is to watch Efra try to <laughs> sing along to Korean. So like Loco or Loco, I don't know how to say his name. And he talks, he talk, talks with like a bit of a swagger. So he does. He has swagger. Yeah. All right. Let's let's begin with uh, the ballad. Uh, uh, situation. What do you call it? Situation. Uh, buffet. Buffet. Yeah. Mm, buffet. So, we've we've heard the next one. We've heard Da Vinci before. Yeah. Uh, do you remember what was it? The one we watched from them. Gracias a la vida. Yeah, it, it was. A, Give me a little time. It was a live performance, and it was an absolute joke of a performance. That literally wrapped they those two girls wrapped their hands around my my avocado and made it mush like this. Yeah, that, I think that's one of my favorite performances we've ever watched. It was the most emotional thing I have ever heard. Yeah, if you haven't watched that, it's because watch that it song is really special to me. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. It is actually. Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, it is. So my, my grandma sings that a lot. Oh Jesus. Really? Is that why? Yes. Oh, I That's just why ha- I was so like, <laughs> I need a moment to breathe. I just remember watching it, hearing it a lot at home. That's, that's what yeah. I remember. 
All right, let's watch then. Cry again. Ah, let's break. Well, <laughs> the name. I guess we are going to cry. Go on, let's, let's do it. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, please have captions. Oh, please have subtitles. I don't think it has subtitles. Does it have subtitles? No. It doesn't. So hold on, it's just another screen here, it's distracting. Why why is it distracting? Like that. Yeah, it's just distracting, yeah. Why is it distracting? Yes, I see you looking as well and I see myself <laughs> looking, I catch myself looking, so And Did I hate you? that feeling, nah, I don't know, I hate that feeling of like uh, not being a thousand percent. Sorry. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's hard. <laughs> Alright, so the Vici, the Vici cry again. Let me find the lyrics. Oh, I can't believe you yeah. did that to the poor woman. What? <laughs> so distracting. Sorry. It is so distracting. <laughs> it's literally. Why are you so distracted? I'm so ready for this. I'm not even going to Okay, lie. I've got it. Read the first few things. Oh, that's Korean. English well, in lyrics. English. Englisher. So that that's definitely Hindu. English, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. So he says, You're crying again when I told you not to. Oh, Jesus. Please listen. Burst in tears. Weak heart, scared heart. I really don't want to cry, but you're crying again when I told you not to. That's rough. Oh, no. That's going to be a tough one to watch. 2015. Is that London? That looks like London for a sec. It's not, is it? That's. No, it that's is. A, no, no, that's. A, it's America, is it? Oh, no, Budapest. Budapest. That's Duh. America. Well, I have always a lot. <laughs> Dude! She's saying, oh. You love him, you couldn't even tell him that. Stop, stop crying. That's rough. Dude. And then she say, Go, please, don't come, listen to me. You you bad breakup. I have so much I want to say. I still love him. Go, please, go. But leave him. So I think maybe this it's is. It's like a friend. friend. That like. You're a friend telling it's, a conversation between friends. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say here. Yeah. I had such a hard time. <laughs> this is kind of so emotional. The the chord progression, the the whole scenery is like uh, 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 heartbreak. Yeah. You know. Video is very sad. Oh, I thought I finished sad after this. Go ahead, oh. let's go. <laughs> We gotta be so sad. With you. Let's just embrace the mushiness of my avocado. Sometimes though, it is nice to sort of like you know. Be a bit sad for me. <laughs> you know what's funny? What do you do when you're sad? Listen to some more sad music so I can be sadder. <laughs> yeah, just go catch on the way. Even more sad. Yeah. I'm not really sad, but you know, I feel I'm like about I get... to be. Yeah. <laughs> go on, let's do it. Visually, beautiful. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, it was about to pull out. Why would they? Why? I don't know. Can you not see it? Pull out. Efran, you can't say that, but okay. Oh, Jesus, I can't say that. Ah, uh, <laughs> crap. I mean, it's already. But why would you? Why would you think that? Do you not see a slow no. motion shot? She mm, no. sort of like passes I away. I thought perhaps he was gonna. Or a ring. Hit her. For a second. Yeah, we do. It, it did seem <laughs> he violent. Was, he was very aggressive, but yeah. I didn't think it was going to be. It did seem violent. A locket. Or I, I thought it was gonna be like you know how couples give themselves like that was obviously a locket, a love locket. But I thought like a ring, like an engagement ring. Yeah. I thought he was gonna throw it on the floor. That guy's a bit. That's of a, what I have yeah. in mind for you, but look at it now. Yeah. Go well, on. he obviously doesn't like her anymore. This is a bosh. I just have friend picking it up. Oh. oh no! Where are your 
chasing the boy around, let him go. He doesn't love you. Dude, I'm I'm getting goosebumps. She can move, isn't it? Yeah, stop yourself. Stop it. It's gonna go hurt. The harmony stuff. Yeah, great vocalist, man. Monster, dude. Ah. Okay, pause. Talk right. to me, talk so, to me. <laughs> <laughs> so the she... harmony work, the vocalization in this song is just enough to make you feel all kinds of emotional. Yeah, so she, she's just saying. Stop hurting yourself. Why are you going yeah, through it? Please don't cry in front of him. Yeah. Stop you it! Keep, you keep crying whenever he says something. So it's very real lyrics. It's very uh, maybe they ri- right in your it. face. Yeah. Uh, when you couldn't even say anything when he broke up with you, you love him. You couldn't even tell him that. Stop! Stop crying. You know it's very interesting because oh. it that does seem to be something that happens a lot when when a girl, even a guy. May, may, maybe I think it could happen the other way around more often when when a a, a lady a, a woman sort of doesn't want to let go of that 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 feeling of safety that feeling of of being wanted that feeling of being loved care warmth that that's sort of what they're trying to represent with the fire that that same warmth is was burning her yeah uh and and that same warmth and coziness that they're looking in in a world that's empty where no one wants you which is kind of like the beach and stuff like that it does seem to be a cycle where where even if even if if he's saying i don't want you anymore or or this is it or maybe he's a bit because what what he did there that's wrong push it push him back but uh yeah he seems very like angry so whatever happened must be like a big deal but it, it's it does seem to like have that effect if you try and push him away they keep coming even more yeah. uh, uh and it's sort of like it's a very destructive cycle yeah it's a very toxic place to be in but she's very lucky to have such a good friend she should listen. But the, the weird thing is, even if your friend or family tells, tells you, you, you this is yeah, bad for yeah, you, yeah, they, yeah. you know, you're doing you're, crazy stuff. Yeah. It's you still gotta. gotta and the funny, the good thing though, is she didn't stop her. She stopped her, but it's not like she's forcing her to not chase. Yeah. You, you have to go through that, I guess, to realize your mistake to some extent. <laughs> this is so foolish at all. The, re- the lyrics are very real. And I don't like him. I like what he's wearing. Though. He he has the face of a heartbreaker. Yeah. You see? Well, she is just. He devastated. burned your heart. Yeah, that's the cycle. <laughs> that's the cycle right there. Don't do it. It's like she needs him. But look at him. He doesn't need it. And that's the ring. That's a big ring, that's though. Big. How big is his finger? He has some fat fingers. <laughs> he just don't like it when he pushed her. Yes. <laughs> that's tough, dude. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and, and, that, and that, tell him you love him. If it's not now, please stop <laughs> tears. Oh my god, it's very emotional. Yeah, d- don't let the goodbye take him away. The words trapped inside take them out of you. So I think that that's that's maybe that be where she kisses him. It's maybe 
sort of like that representation of her just letting everything go. But she has to let it go. That's rough. Dude, we're in for one hell of a ride. Oh my god. That is rough. I, I, th I think that situation is very real for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I definitely have seen it where, between my friend group. Yeah, where you sort of just get caught in this weird... Push and pull situation and... I wouldn't call it push and pull. I would call it a destructive cycle. Cause it, it, it is a destructive cause cycle. Because it isn't a straight line. It isn't push and pull. That's true. It's it just comes, it goes, you hurt, you die, you come back to life, and go back to it and... Uh, it's not, like you need it. You don't die. But they do. What do you mean? That little part of themselves dies. Right, okay. Yeah, I, I get what you're they saying. They die, come back to life, and then... Because they... I've seen it with friends and, and stuff, and... You know, they you, they lose that part of them. It's like a little... Little corner of themselves goes a bit of bit. spark. Yeah, it just goes dim. It like doesn't exist anymore, and then they kind of like start to live again, and life starts to become more normal. Yeah, and then boom, back. they they have to see him again. They have to like be with that person again. Right. And you're like, why? You know how this is gonna end. You know what this is leading to. <laughs> But again, I've never been in that position. It's not it's not my place to judge. I, I, I couldn't, I, I, I wouldn't be able to say, oh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. You know, because who knows? I think, I think it's that bit where you say they sort of lose a bit of spark to themselves. Yeah, and then That's they gain really it. And then they want to like... What do you mean regain it? They, they gain that little piece of life again. I don't, feel, I don't feel like they ever get it back. Fair enough. Maybe they fake it really well. And then, and then, uh. they, and then they just need to go back to that toxic cycle they were in like what what yeah I don't, I don't i don't feel like maybe they fake it. i just think you know you heal but it's sort of like a scar isn't it mm. that you piece of skin it. is never the same yeah you're always gonna have it there yeah so but say you're talking about light right or that little spark that's sort of like uh, you know when you know when you're a kid and you have that spark in your mm -hmm. eyes and stuff like that that sort of slowly goes away it's the same with like heartbreaks and and, and bad relationships and toxic relationships yeah, That's but you're always going to have the scar. Mm-hmm. Stop. Yeah. All right. That was really hard to process. <laughs> I don't know how to move on from yeah, that. I and have to that's only time number one. I think I'm going to have to take my time with stuff because, gosh, Whew, it's yeah. touching on, on. Just to let you in right now, this is definitely going to spark some deep conversations throughout the whole podcast. Yeah, if you tune in just now. It, it, I, I wow. Th and I think it's going to be, this probably will turn into one of my favorite ones because... I, I love when music sparks conversation. Emotion, yeah. Not just emotion. I think most music, music that we like, probably does trigger that emotion in us. But I mm. love when you talk about music. Yeah, and then you dissect it and try to like understand it better, go dive in deeper into the meaning. And different. there's like, yeah. and you can see it from dif different perspective and discover new ways of listening to the same song. It's just, it's incredible. I love doing this. I okay. love doing this. All right. All right. Now next we have crush beautiful but we're gonna watch the live version of this yes because the original music video it's a montage of the drama goblin which i was literally obsessed with okay i watch it every christmas don't judge me <laughs> goblin, what is that? it's it's a it's a uh, fantasy drama it's a romantic fantasy yeah, yeah. that's the villain tragedy. in spider-man no the green goblin mm, i know this, okay, so there's this legend-ish, I think, yeah. oh God. in Korea. Right. It was like a ch children's tale type thing that says that goblins protect something and they, they're they supposed to become brooms if they come Oh, well, bloody hell, you it's, like Korea? It's, it's, a, it's a whole thing, right? I don't, I don't think I'm doing it justice. But the drama, it's perfect. Yeah, well, for like a winter thing, like Christmas it's stuff. It's perfect. It's just the perfect Roman story romantic story but it's obviously set in like christmas time ish and mm. then they filmed it around christmas time or there it, it aired around christmas time so they had christmas decorations at some point or whatever but Ephra, the storyline is beautiful i cry every single time i watch it and it's worth it every single time is it a movie okay no it's a it's series. a it's a yeah so they put the exact same series I do year. it. No, I oh, you do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to process Call it. me weird. I don't care. Monica and I watch it religiously every Christmas. So it's sort of like uh, like your Christmas movie, but you put a series. Yeah. I was like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen this next. This came but, out know. in 2016, I think. 
Yeah. It says 2017 there. Oh, uh, all right. It's literally written on the title. Oh, I can't read. <laughs> yeah. But yes. But Crush, wasn't Crush meant to be like an R&B artist? Yes, but he obviously made this beautiful song and we're going to listen to it. But, <laughs> but Stop questioning me. <laughs> but we did hear him in the R&B. Uh, yes, we did. We he, he sat is, with yeah. uh, Sam Kim's Sam Kim. <laughs> Kim Sam Sam Kim. Oh, I'm struggling. <laughs> Go on, let's yeah. put it on. Beautiful. Beautiful. The the live version. The, the live one. KBS. Huh? Yes. I've heard, I've heard some of his stuff. Yeah. It's really good. He's so good. He's so good. He's like ridiculously talented. Got a lot of jackets, but whatever he's wearing. It also doesn't have subtitles, so therefore you cannot look at it. Oh no. I know. Ooh, but listen to that song. Dude, I can listen to that intro all day long. Wow. I'm pretty sure I know this. Dude, that is perfect, man. Just let the song be a song. It's beautiful life. Yeah, 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 I know this song. Oh, it has some time. It has some time. Beautiful life. Mate. No idea, so it's it's beautiful. That's a joke. Beautiful <laughs> Oh my gosh. Flashback. Please wear gloves. He looks so gangster and he sounds like that. Jesus. Oh, is that the highest it goes? I think it is. Oh, man, I could bang this out all day. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's no, no, the highest it there. goes. Go. Beautiful, my love. <laughs> Let me check the YouTube one. Beautiful, your heart. Oh, there it is. Okay, now it's going to be too loud. <laughs> Let's go from the beginning. Are you sure? Sí. Go on. Sí, estoy segura. <laughs> Ephra, when that song played in Bro. the drama, I used to cry for no reason. Yeah, I got a bit. I, I, did, I did is, get a bit This emotion. is a slow down version. This is not. This is like a jazzy version of it, because the the one that they played in the Just drama is like no, it's more, not upbeat, but it's it's like more more modern ballad. Oh my gosh, you were about to cry. I was. <laughs> I was. But it's okay. I handled it. I controlled it. I did get a bit emotion. It's a bit weird. Whew, wait. Sip or something. A bit of water. Or I mean, whatever that is. Crush. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, yeah. I'm drinking Crush, listening to Crush. Yeah. Uh, That'd be a good ad. <laughs> be a great sponsorship. I just like Crush, never mind. Um, yes, this is good, but this is like a jazzy version of it. I think, I'll, I mean, I've never heard the other one. I'll show you a snippet of it. It's like a bit more, mo it's like listening to perhaps Camila or something. It's well, a bit more me, I'll probably modern like this better. This is better for you, yeah, definitely. Oh, that's better loud loud music. <laughs> good English, but I don't care. You're gonna stop in gibberish. No, no, <laughs> no, you're not. You're fine, you're fine. Keep it together. <laughs> I love when music doesn't rush. Maybe that's why I like R and B or rhythm, you know, rhythm, true rhythm and jazz. blues, jazz. You hear, this is true jazz right there. I just love his outfit. It's so antagonic. Very. It doesn't really go. Is everyone wearing white? Oh yeah. Weird. Beautiful Right on the playlist, dude. Beautiful dude, what a joke of a man! Did you write this? It 
you want to learn Korean, which is really tough language. <laughs> That's an instrument that just gets everyone's attention. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's so hard to play. The staging, the lighting. Back there, how he controlled it. What a joke! Oh, this is just beyond. No, I no, I Dude, I love this podcast. What a joke! That is oh wild. my god, he hasn't come out of it yet. <laughs> Everyone's how, are they not, how are they not crying? Hello. How are they not like, oh, oh my God. I think it's because he went beyond that. I think he, he went through that serenity, zen sort of. It just took everybody to a whole planet. It's a different planet. It's like a plane on its own. It's so crazy. Yeah, I thought the I could writers, meditate to that. Yeah. yeah the writers were Chan He Huang and yep. then... <laughs> Song, song Julie and Du Woon Song. Right, so three. Three different writers. That guy has the the name Song in his name. <laughs> I think he make it. the best music. Yeah, he's, he was made for it. Yes. It oh took three people. That's wild. Beautiful. Why. That's incredible, though. Like, hello. How do you? I want to see what Crush's real name is. Let me search that up. Crush. I also want to know the band and all the people that's involved. Oh, that, it's just that, insane. What do you call someone that plays the trumpet? Trump. A trumpetist? <laughs> Trumpet player. A tr tr trumpist. <laughs> what? Definitely not it, but you know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. He didn't write the song. Right. Yeah, they gave it to him. But what a song, though. Right person to give it to. Jesus. I want to listen to that again. And again. Oh, no. And, that's going and to... cry on my own time. That is straight up just... How can you... The thing is... How... With a tub of ice cream and watching Goblin. How can you, it, it's very hard to, uh, so say, say I Beautiful, was a critic. Oh my love. You were a critic? Yeah, sorry. So say I was a, 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 a critic, someone that was, you know, my, my. Criticizing music. No, no, for my a job on, yeah. on a newspaper or, you know, those people that, that criticize, uh, not criticize, but they, they review um, um, on like theater and Hollywood movies and all that stuff. If I was one of those guys, right? Not not like we are now, like you, we just watch and, and we for, review for, and stuff like that. Life. But yeah. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, the, the, yeah, like a critic, like not, not, not a critic, because I guess everyone can criticize stuff. But one of those, well, I don't know what differentiate, like what the difference is between them. <laughs> You're having such a hard time. <laughs> Very. I don't know what the difference is between someone who does those reviews and gives it like four stars or three or five mm -hmm. stars, and then just someone that just likes music no gives their opinion okay you see what i mean what's the difference why, why do people on newspapers can write there it's like oh it was fantastic but this was flawed and this was flawed so what gives them the i don't know a music degree i guess if i was one of those what could i pick wrong from that then nothing 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 literally that if is... you're picking something wrong out of that performance you're a hater <laughs> the thing is, it's very difficult to hate on that. No, yeah, no. I don't know who Crush is. I've never met him. I don't have to like him. No, me neither. It's just, it's just that it's a magical performance. And that was just beautifully done. That choice So you make of... fans, though. 
that choice, yeah, that With choice like of that. of um, remix because they they changed the original version of the song. It was way more effective than the original. You want to listen to the original a little bit? No, no. Just I don't. Uh, no. I actually don't. No, 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 no. I actually no. don't want to know what the original sounds like. It's not too far off, but it's not jazz. Well, maybe we'll listen. Maybe, maybe off camera we'll listen. Okay, fair I enough. think. I don't think that's gonna. The thing is, I, it's not gonna. It's top not gonna that. get any better. Yeah, it's no, not gonna no, top no. that. It's not. It's really not. So I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be all, all like disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, why did you show me that? Just it's leave like, it there. Stop it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a really good. It's a really good performance. I think he's an incredible artist. He's incredible. He is. He came. And the fact that he can rap. I came across him, as a rap in a in a rap thing. I was falling asleep, and YouTube does this thing where it, it auto plays. So, if you have it on, stuff, yeah, yeah, it just carries on. And you're in this weird state of like, you're kind of sleep, but you're not really asleep. And he came on, I was listening to Sam Kim, mm -hmm. and he came on, and I was like, oh, that's weird, a bit of rap. And then he started singing, and I'm like, what the? Yeah. This guy can sing. And I didn't know it was Crush until you showed me that morning. I said, like, yeah, he was playing last night. He's like, that's Crush. You're going to love him. Yes. And he did a song with, uh, with obviously, with, with Sam, so. Such a cool artist. Uh, to me, it's it's crazy that he can be that good vocally. Joke. So calm and smooth. So serene. He he's like, have it has it all under control. Yeah. He controlled that whole environment. Literally. All of the audience. That's he it. controlled it all. We're doing absolutely nothing but <laughs> delivering just the perfect performance. Wild. Yeah, that's a good point. Insane. What a crowd control does he have? Everyone was like just quiet, like, like with what? their white tops, just looking at him like he's a priest. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let's watch. I think I, I've calmed down a little. <laughs> I was literally close to crying. I don't know why. Cause it's a good, sh it's a good song. Not say good. It's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this was okay. someone that we had to uh, block. I mean, we didn't block it. YouTube blocked it from our previous podcast. B T O B. B to B. B huh? B to B. B2B, that's that how you say it? it. Oh, that's actually a two. Yeah, B2B. B2B, right. And uh, they're back. And I have my fingers crossed that... Hopefully they won't get blocked yeah, in this one. Yeah, maybe they just hate us, I don't know. <laughs> no, I just think they were on the um, autotune versus no autotune uh, compilation video that we watched. But we, have to, we had to take it out. I had to, to crop it out because... It was getting blocked on on um, on YouTube, but hopefully, hopefully this one, this one is okay. I hope so. This is B two B missing you. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? One one the K is that the the yeah label? Yeah, that's the, the I think that's the label. Beautiful life, beautiful day. <laughs> Sorry, gotta concentrate on this now. You know, you know it's gonna be good because he's got those glasses, those Harry Potter glasses. I just know by the light, the lighting mood. Yeah, it's gonna be a sad one. Yeah. That top is fire though. It's got like a turtleneck. Mm -hmm. That's hard, I would never think of that. It's good. I wanna get in the mood, I wanna get in the, the moment. What to say? It's literally no sound, mate. <laughs> Maybe you should write the lyrics. That's really cool camera work. Well, I have earrings on it. Oh, you do. ever I don't feel awkward being alone <laughs> and right now and everyone's like stuck at home it's like it's perfect <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and I'm so ready for this to be over, dude. Oh and my I'm like gosh. living my best life here, lounging, watching oh. Netflix for days, and doing not having to go out. Dude, he's good. That's the best thing. He's about good. This. He's really good. I like his voice a lot. I want to know his name. How you know? I like the beat behind this though. Unexpected, but I like it. The click, click. Yeah, four, four, beat, was, four was expected beat. to that one. Yeah. It's good though. I like it very much. Whoa, look at that guy in the left. He's got like short hair with blonde. He's real hard. Oh, Oh, is it bold? Oh, it's just the light shining. It's like they're all heartbroken. That's a look and a half. Visuals, dude. Jesus. That backdrop. Woo. Back background. Wow, look at that. Yeah, he looks real hardcore. That's so cool, that is bold, I like that. That's so nice. Jeez, that's rough. I think he's the only bold idol I've seen so far. And it's it's hard. I like it. Yeah, I thought I thought I thought that was probably something they would try because they changed it. Oh, or maybe it wasn't by choice. But they <laughs> yeah, because they Dr. dye their. Doctor Scalpy's back. Yeah, Doctor Scalpy's <laughs> right here. If you dye your hair different colors, blue, purple, a bit of green, then you change it to black, then you decide to go blonde, do some highlights. Mate, your scalp isn't praying for you. Isn't like thanking you. Do you think it was the reason? I think nah, it was I think more it was by of a, choice. Yeah, I think it I'm was just, more of a. I think I look good, Vin Diesel. He, he does look good, but I'm just saying, maybe it could have been that. Maybe it could have been more his own choice. I the think, I think so. Thing is, the more I'm getting to know, like the type of contracts they're on and the type of like, uh, like the how, how a little bit of the industry is there, I'm like, uh, these guys, how much freedom do they have? Yeah, that's it's a bit true. wild. So I don't, I don't know how much of their look choices is theirs. I hope everything is down to them in terms of like what I want to look like. Maybe not everything, but uh, I think they might have an a say. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't even know who they're with. But think about the psychology of it, because it's the only one that probably in, in any big group that we know that it was the first person that stood out to me. Absolutely, Just right off the bat. Yeah, I want to know his name. He's cool, and he his rapping was really clean as well. Very, very. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, he's got that weird voice of, of kind of like high, but in, in mid-range as well. Yeah. Which, it, it, it pops so much on a mic. It's very bright. It's yeah. a very bright voice. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the professional way of saying it. Yeah. I want to learn this chorus. Everyone's going through the same story. That's so cool. The projection is so smart. Oh, he means that for real. He's a good actor. He's hurt. <laughs> Bro, literally. Look, this is in a concert, everyone. Look at him. He's so cool. He's broad, dude. And he's big as well. Woo, key change.
That's why guys have heart breaks last so long. Fantastic, that's brilliant. I like him. Dude, that guy, those guys' shoulders yeah, were like he was eight so meters broad. apart, dude. Wasn't he broad and his neck so big? You get, pun you get punched from that guy. You're, going to like, hey, <laughs> You're dying. Yeah. That was just like, that's it. Goodbye. See you in the other life. <laughs> I know, I know, guaranteed. Everyone, everyone in the comments is going to be like, who hurt these boys? In, of that video, because literally. And, and I think, here's the thing, though. If, obviously, you're not a guy, you're a woman. Mm -hmm. But, uh, just noticed but if 2020 you're still enjoying this <laughs> yes when did it come out a year ago no like 2017 oh it's a long time ago yeah it's quite quite, quite well four or three, three years so if when you go through a heartbreak or, or maybe just the girl does you wrong or maybe you liked her and then you started dating but then it doesn't turn out well i feel like the girl probably gets passed over it quicker Heavier days, heavier days in the short term. Yeah, so I think we go all out really quick. It's like, oh, we're dying. Yeah, but then we're in seven die. days, you're fine. In no, a week or in, two. No, no, no. I would say perhaps in a few months, you're totally, completely healed. Fine. Depending on the gravity of the situation. Yeah, but I thought, uh, but yes. And going through a bit, it's like. But boys, boys dwell on it, don't they? Because I think boys suppress it for like a lot before they understand the emotions like they just like sit on them for a while i don't think so i just think people underestimate how hard you can get as a guy ah oh, talk to me that's yeah, good that's I, a I good think, point i don't think like it's like i mean this is what i feel from my experience i can't speak for every guy but i i just feel like people maybe because you're a guy they they expect you to suppress stuff because that's the narrative that's like that's yeah, what yeah, psychology yeah. and, and psychology does does back this up there's plenty of data to show that. Oh, here we go. Plenty of data to show. <laughs> oh, here we go. I love psychology. Told you so. that this was gonna spark some real conversations. Show that yeah, women are more likely to to uh, converse, open up, go to therapy, uh, and speak about it, even just with their family and mm -hmm. and friends. Men don't really tend to do that often, uh, but I do feel like it, it isn't like oh, you're macho man, you're not meant to express feeling. I think that's a bunch of BS. I think guys cry, and I think. Yeah, just, All that, humans do. Yeah, yeah, and it's absolutely fun. And I, I don't feel like most guys try to hide it. Maybe that was in the past, but not anymore. I, I, it just feels like maybe because there's so much, so much stuff going on. You know, that you also have other girls. Maybe like you go outside and you have friends and you, you meet other girls. And and the thing that my brain, it's always like on. It's like wow, she's attractive. It's like oh, I wonder what relationship would be like her with her, or or I have to go out with my friends and do this. And um, I think girls put a stop. To everything. To everything. Yeah. And then they, they really go low and then they kind of recover. I think guys delay that stop really long. And so it is kind of like suppression. I think maybe you're right, but I just feel like we don't suppress it. It's just, we just carry on. We we know it's happening and, and we're sad and, and it's like, And oh then my. one day just suddenly it all comes, hit you like a truck. No, it hits you every day. It hits you every day. It's just, as days go by, you keep going lower and lower and lower and lower. Oh, right. It's not like, it's not like, so one day you just crash? No, it's not like that. I feel like that's more maybe from, from the experience I have with, with some of my, uh, the girls I've gone through that stuff, that, that's what they tell me. It's like, you feel like you're okay for a few weeks and then bam, and it hits you in the face. Hits you out of nowhere. It's why. happened, you've seen it happen to me. It, does, it also does hit you, you're also like in a shock. But I feel like it, you just, you keep decreasing and decreasing and decreasing and decreasing. While I feel like what women are really uh, able to do is they go like this, whoosh, but then instead of, they get so low that I think they can only slowly increase, 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 increase until they're ready to date again or maybe they made a, a conscious choice to not or, or do whatever they want to do. Yeah. But I think from my experience, and again, I'm not speaking for, for, for every guy, I don't know much evidence or many studies done on this uh, off, off the top of my head. So from my experience, it's just that. You just, you just sort of feel like you're going low, 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 and you either put a conscious stop to that and you're like, what the hell is going on? Uh, or you just keep decreasing, decreasing, decreasing onto your family or friends, like, Pull you, bah, 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 bah. Yeah. you know, it's like, dude, what the hell? Why are you doing this? This is destructive. Or maybe you date someone that's very similar to who broke your heart 
yes. and everyone's like, bro, we, we see, have it. Seen it. it's so it's so funny because series do it a lot, but it's so true. Dude. It's, it's so true. That's what I find myself doing. It's like I find myself doing. It's like I I really like this lady and and went to crap. Can I say that word? I guess so. And it all went bad. I'm, I was you know a bit broken and I was a bit sad, and then I found myself like. I was looking in, in Doing women. Doing really destructive things like that. A lot, that. very, yeah. <laughs> Nothing like illegal, but you know, <laughs> but for a little while, yeah. But then it just turned, sort of turned into, I was looking for those qualities that this girl had in other, in girls, other girls. And that's not fair in any other girl. That's destructive. Yeah, because no girl's going to be like her. Absolutely. And that's why you're so sad. Yeah. <laughs> just like, oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, this bit. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> oh. I told you this was going to spark some real emotion. Yeah, I, don't, I think this is dangerous, dude. I think I'm going to expose myself here. <laughs> this is very Hold dangerous. Hold it together, soldier. Yeah. We're all in the beginning. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch. Let's watch. Uh, why don't we go with G Dragon? G Dragon. Do you want to move up? Is that, is that who's next? Oh, no. Sorry. Lee High Breathe. Lee He? Lee He? Lee He? I don't know how to say her is name. It, is it a her? It's a her. So I can't tell by the thumbnail. It's a her, and apparently this was like highly recommended. Right. When I started asking around about power balance love. Is this, it, is this, this what I asked like, you if like if other people have watched and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. She's done a right for other people as well, so. Right. I think, I mean, it, it, that, one of the things that I've been enjoying lately is watching other other channels and other people sort of watch some of the things that you guys, you guys have recommended to us and seeing what's the general consensus like what's the general opinion on them obviously i do this after i watch it yeah because it's not say, a bit unfair yeah um but i i do like seeing like the general opinion to see if i'm out of touch yeah i do it too to or, see if i'm actually crazy or blowing it out of proportion or maybe i was able to bring something new to the table or if and i actually like when when a lot of the people i've watched that they, they sort of say something i'm like oh my gosh how did I not see that? It was so <laughs> yeah. obvious. Especially, I, I, I've been watching lately, those guys, DK. DK, DK TV. Yeah, and, and they sort of break down everything. Well, I mean, we've, we've even watched them Tons on the channel. Tons of stuff, yeah. And uh, I was like, did were they able to do this the first time they watched it? Or, like, did they break it down as I they went? Think, I think they the guy's do. guy's clever. Dude. I think they do, like, watch it a few times before they actually make the video of breaking things down and finding the meaning and whatever yeah but um yeah they're solid they yeah. have such really like really constructive points they're really really worth watching the, the guy seems really um uh, like switched on yeah 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 okay so let's watch lee he lee. hi yeah her breathe. breathe any song called breathe is gonna be heavy dude just breathe that's what i'm thinking of it doesn't have s subtitles I bet you do. I don't think it does. Oh, it reminds me of Jackson Wang. Yeah. Bullet to the heart. Maybe it's in the same place, you know. Not good, do you? What a voice, wow. Jesus. Okay, I've got the lyrics. She's beautiful. Yeah, Genius did the translation as well, so it's probably very, very accurate. It says, take a deep breath onto both sides of your heart. Get numb. Oh! <laughs> until, it, until it hurts a little. Let let out your breath even more until you feel like there's nothing left inside. It's all right if you run out of breath. Dude, this could be a poem as well like that. No one will blame you. It's okay to make mistakes sometimes because anyone can do so. Although comforting by saying it's all right are just words. That's how you feel. That's exactly how you feel. Yeah, that's how you feel. It's like everyone telling you, it's all right, mate, you'll recover, it's all right. You're all gonna be stuff. fine. But it, they just feel like words. It's like, that doesn't make sense to me. Oh, mate, it's just gonna be one of those podcasts. I, I don't like watching people when they like sort of go down and they, <laughs> You know what I mean? And I find it, I find it. Ephra, three seconds, they go, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> what an emotional roller coaster, mate. Oh. I love it. I think it hits you harder than you oh. expect. I'm here like, oh yeah, this is gonna be emotional. Ephra's not. It's not gonna yeah, be. Cause we're gonna be fine. Ephra, three seconds later. You always, I hate it. You always thought I'm like ice cold. 
Because you act like that most of the time. I'm not ice cold. You kind of are a little bit. <laughs> a little bit clinical cut too much. A bit. Okay, I agree with that. But <laughs> <laughs> you see? A bit cold. No, no, but... I, but you know, I'm like, you call me. What do you say you call me? A romantic, like a hopeless Hope, romantic. You're a hopeless romantic, but yeah. it like, it takes you this type of like jolt for it to like flourish. But you in your normal day life, you're like, oh, well, let's just shake it off. You're being emotional, you know, clinical cut and annoying. But we're dwelling into this in whole, aren't we? So. Yeah, but you really go <laughs> deep so fast. Ephra goes in like, whoa, uh, dive tell, into the deep I think end. what you probably mean is that I'm either all in or all out. <laughs> and I think we can both agree that that's just one, what a description of it. That's you yeah. in a nutshell. That's it. That's actually right. <laughs> all in or all out. Yeah. It's no half, half anywhere. Hell no. <laughs> it's black or it's white. Yeah. No gray matter. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, put it on. She's pretty though. That voice does not match the face. She has the babyest face. But her voice has such character. But also a game. Like Inception. Oh, dude, it's like a sky is there. It's like she's with the clouds. Oh, I love her voice. Oh, oh wow. So she's saying. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. I think what she's saying in that Hold bit. Hold it down, avocado. Yeah, I think what she's saying in that bit. It's kind of hard because I, I obviously don't understand Korean, and unfortunately we found one that didn't have lyrics. But I've got the lyrics here from Genius. So it says, the chorus is someone's breath, that heavy breath. How can I see through that? Though I can't understand your breath, it's all right, I'll hold you. And then verse number two. I'm not sure if this is verse number two. I don't think it is. I think we're going into verse number two right now. I think we are. What a wild. This is insane. Dude, it's crazy because that's why I, maybe this is the benefit of then not always writing your own lyrics. I don't know if she wrote this. Uh, let's see, written by John Hyun. John Hyun. Let's see what, maybe he's writing other stuff. Probably. But maybe this is the benefit of this. Oh yeah, he's, he's wrote, he's written a lot of stuff. For EXO, he's written he's stuff written for, for EXO. Playboy. Playboy. Playboy, he's, he's, yeah, he's written quite a bit. Is she with SM? Maybe, I'm not sure. Hmm. Is that the logo for SM? No, YG. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, maybe he's just like freelance. Yeah. So maybe this is the benefit because sometimes you it does happen where where you're a capable singer. I mean, capable is an understatement for her. You're an outstanding. <laughs> you're an outstanding singer, but there are songs that you're meant to sing that don't come from you. That's actually true. And that's kind of weird to say because the industry right now, especially in the Western world, does have a thing against ghostwriters for some reason. I don't know why. You know? It's not new yeah. that people ghostwrite yeah. and then give them to artists. So, it, it over here, it feels like it diminishes how good the song was. Oh, was it their lyrics? No. So, ah, oh, all right. It doesn't really... I, I don't think it makes that much of a difference, to be honest. It's I mean, never made that much of a difference no, to me. No, it, it doesn't. If it's a good song, if it was well-performed, who cares who wrote it? I think rap is a bit different, though. Rap culture is a bit different. Yeah, but you can say that about singer-songwriters. Good point. Like... Yeah, you see, my I my opinion on rap is a bit... Yeah. Why? I that, don't know. You could say the same out of any other funk. 
Mm. It comes from a true place, but it came from a true place from the person who wrote it. It doesn't necessarily have to be the person who performed it. Yeah, good point. I, I think that's that's what makes it beautiful that not only one person is able to be part of that journey because she's performing it here, and you can tell there's a true, honest. It's like it's her performance. It's exactly. so weird. That's why I don't diminish people that ghost write, because it it represents. I mean, I think it's putting two people or more. It's putting a whole team of people into the whole emotion and the whole ride and journey of the song that that one person wrote. I think it's genius. I, I yeah. I think it's just the credit goes just as much. You know. I agree. I agree. This is so good. Such a great song. Yeah, and I just need to catch my breath. I know. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, but the whole video is just beautiful. It's so tasteful because I don't know. I was expecting to see. I don't know what I was expecting to be honest. Well, not that voice from that face. That's for sure. She's like she. She looks like a like a doll. She's perfection like a and she's so tiny and power. And yeah, but it. her voice has so much character yeah, to it. She's a boss, dude. It's incredible, and it gave me goosebumps, and the lyrics are just insane. Look at those lens flares. Yeah, yeah. Those. <laughs> was like what is happening and she's obviously like narrating like telling it's not narrating it's like she like this song can be relatable in all these people's stories and lives yeah like at a sing different parts of points of their lives this somehow relates to all of them i really like that concept for a video because you expect oh a romantic setting you know man two woman, people. two people fall in love break up blah, blah. We cry, <laughs> you know. But I like, I like that. You know, we all go through tough moments, we, and we all need to just breathe and feel okay for us. The funny, sake. the funny thing is, I don't think she's ever spoken about a romantic relationship on this. I think she's just speaking about how tough times come, and how is is uh, is that deep breath? Is that is that? Heavy sigh is that you? You look up and you're like, oh my gosh, another one, another day, another day of this. Maybe you you have the another job you struggle, hate. Yeah. Maybe you have no. the, you and you have to do it because you need the money, or maybe you have uh, uh, sacrifices that you wonder how oft, how long are they gonna go for? Maybe yeah. you have a uh, family who are who are struggling or are uh, you know in the hospital and 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 it's the, the tough times. Maybe you have. Yeah. Moments where your exams are overloading you, your stress is taking over just you. Just life overall just becomes a little bit too much. You're stuck in this weird and rat race. And people tell you that everything's gonna be okay, and to you it's just a bunch of words. Yeah, and and things, and then things hit you. At the end of the day, every day, yeah. after everything is done, you've woken up, you've 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 done everything that you had to do, and it is you you will will you've used your willpower to go through the day, and now you've come down, you know. And then this is this is the sort of a, a, a melody and and, and, and sad uh, uh, feel that you sort of get. I think that, that on the third verse she's saying, 
uh, even if others think you sigh, takes out energy and strength. I already know that you had a day that's hard enough to let out even a small sigh. Now don't think of anything else. Let out a deep sigh, just let it out like that. Yeah. And breathe. You're gonna be fine. We're that's gonna wild. be fine. Yeah, because it, this seems more real. It actually fits the situations right now, you know, in life, <laughs> the, the world, the worldwide situation. It's like, it's okay. It's going to be all right. Just take a deep breath. Just just breathe for a second. It's great advice, but it's heavy as hell. It's hard. Like, it's, it's very clever advice. But you know when people give you advice and you're like, yeah, yeah, good point. Thank you. <laughs> and then it's not going to go in. You don't do it. Yeah. Yeah, but they, we should follow that. That's a good advice. Breathe. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> She's very, very pure. She looks very pure. Don't like. Oh, mate, what a photo that is. Oh, oh no, no, no. This is a lot. <laughs> a lot. She's great, man. Beautiful. What a beautiful song. Yeah, that takes you out of it. I think that's a good song to literally do what it says. They, Jesus, 67 million views. My gosh. Yeah. But it, I, th I think it's one of those songs where maybe if you play this, it, it's a constant reminder that, you know, sometimes let's just take a step back, just breathe. Things will turn out okay. Most of the time they do, so. Yeah, but it, it's, a, it's when you're in the moment, when you're in the situation, yeah, that's what I mean. so, it's so, just... So maybe this is a good song to when you're in those moments, just a remember. A reminder, yeah. Yeah, reminder, that not, and, and even if you watch the video, it's not a reminder that, you know, things will be okay. It's that like, remember, everyone's going through this too. Mm -hmm. It's not just you. That's what I, that's what I liked about the video the most. The, the variety of, you know, there's so, there's so much. So many different so stories. Many, yeah, that we all forget that we just, we just happen to go through tough times in our lives everybody does you know and they went untold those stories yeah. in the video went untold you kind of know what yeah it goes up to but there was a girl there just in a taxi there was a girl there working there was a, a builder i think there was a yeah so there there are so many different stories so many different untold. lives and they're just silently living their lives going through battling their own demons every day but it's there that's really yeah it's 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 cool it's cool to know that you know there's even though you're having a hard time, there's all the people in it too, you know? And you always gotta be kind and breathe and take your time and suddenly things get better. Okay. I need to mask my my pain with comedy. Oh. <laughs> this is getting real. Yeah, Hit me up with the next. I think um, I think what's really cool about, about her and her voice is that she has the capability to convey that message even to people who are foreign to the language and are foreign to that culture, because maybe there are cultural uh, uh, differences or, or hints and, and I guess call it Easter eggs to people in Korea, you know, they, they p picked up on things maybe that we couldn't have. But with a voice like that, it, it, I've, I've always said it, there's, there's certain people that are able to break that barrier of, of language. She has that gift. She does have that gift. Okay, so the next one is that you you said this is going to be very interesting because I don't think we've heard anything ballad-like from Dree Dragon. G Dragon. Dree Dragon? Oh, sorry. G Dragon. G Dragon. Yeah, I th this song is untitled. Right. 
2014. Is that maybe what it's called? Untitled. Be a good Do name you know? for a song. Could be. And YouTube just sort of gives you that name. Yeah. From the beginning. And there it is. Untitled. Untitled, yeah. Oh, I don't know how to call this song. Yeah. Untitled. YouTube does. <laughs> yeah. So that was 2014. Yeah. Let's see. And my I gosh. I will kick up. 100 plus uh, million views. Okay, pause. I don't know what is going on with the lyrics, but they just I don't it's know. It's because they're old. The older videos I, I don't don't, don't have don't have uh, English lyrics. I don't think that's it. We've watched stuff from it, years ago, and they start. It has lyrics. I think it might be with because of the genre, pop. It's more accessible worldwide. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Yeah, Actually, that, good point, good point. Yeah, the, the song is called Untitled. Oh, uh, we're right. Untitled 2014. That's what it is. That's actually what it is. I think they just didn't have a name and they just chose that one and they made Wh it when, a thing. When did it come out? 2017. 17. Maybe they, oh, maybe they just made the song 2014 and they just decided, he decided to release it in 2017. Yeah, let, let us know what that is. What's the whole story behind this? Yeah. Interesting. Mystery to resolve. Yeah, so, or maybe this is like a story he didn't tell by until him, now. that he was going through in 2014. And he just like you know how you know how artists like for example my favorite artist Bryson Tiller he was going through heavy depression. Yeah. Uh, after he re before he released uh, True to Self, so that must have been 2017. Yeah. You know he went a full year without music, and he's gone about I think two more or maybe one and a half more without music. And no one knew what the hell was going on. Did he fall off all of this stuff? And it turns out it's just he's just suffering a tough time at home, mm -hmm. uh, mentally. We, we know you've you've told me plenty of stories now of idols and how ruthless the industry is, and it's maybe very sad to sort of hear those type of stories. So maybe this is like that. That's why I want to get the lyrics. I I, I don't I, yeah. It's just a story that he hasn't gonna... told, you know. Definitely. Don't don't know what that could be, but. Me neither. G Dragon Act Three Untitled 2014 English Translation. All Got it. right. From the beginning, then here we go. Like told, I will kick up. Interesting lyrics. Out of Crimson Car. Oh, I like the whisper situation. They like a good sunset. So they should. Oh, that's a good change of colors. That's really clever. Oh, that's a voice. That's such a clever background. It's a cool outfit as well. I can't tell what it is though. It's, it's like red. a see through top. Red. Oh, yes, it's red. Red. Oh, it's orange. It is red. It's red. He's got a very unique voice like that. Very Keep me up voice. with the lyrics. Because I'm like totally taken into this trance with the background. The the, the lights, the change of colors, everything like that happens behind it is very, it's playing with the silhouette yeah. a lot and like then it's just taking me in so easily. Maybe it's his mood, mood changing sort of thing. Oh, clever! Yeah. Yes. So, you know that ball in Harry Potter? That that mm -hmm. guy. Yeah, when like, you forget something, it turns red. Yeah, but maybe that was sort of like his mood. Yeah, like mood rings. Huh? You know the rings that you put on, and depending on your body temperature, they change color, and each color tells you what mood you're in. You know? <laughs> you know? I used well, to have many of those. Really? Yes. I've never had one. I've never, I've never seen them. But do they actually work? Yeah. Well, so if you're if you're really angry, it's red. But no, it depends, cause it like is is your it, it like checks your body temperature. It depends on like how your temperature of the body is changing. Well, isn't it a rock? 
Yeah, but it, it changes with the with the, with heat right. or lack of heat, and depending on how warm you are, okay. it will tell you what you what your mood is. Nice, sure. So, yeah, you I'll like witchy stuff. Let it go. <laughs> I'd wear it. I'd wear it. If it looks good, I'd wear it. So he says, I know that it's difficult and hard to come back to me. I know that you're scared of getting hurt again. Even on the day you left, I made you cry with my cruel words. Oh. I turned my back on you and I regret it. I'm sorry. And then the chorus is, please, just once, if I can see, just see you, I'm okay with losing everything I have. I'll oh. meet you. Oh, my God. I'll meet you, even if it's in a dream, and we can love again, just as we are. That is rough to read, dude. Oh, my God. So this is... Dude, this episode's so man. gay. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> This man repenting right here. Ah, oh, <laughs> gosh. Uh, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Hopeless romantic. No, it's, it's not that. I don't think. I think it's because <laughs> if you if you go through it, it just hits you differently. Yeah, and I'm not saying I've been through all these heartbreaks and all this stuff. But yes, but if you if you go through something similar and you you can at least somewhat relate to what yeah, they're saying. Yeah, and and it's and it's so weird with your with my brain. It's like. It just always gr- it, it, it grabs it. As soon as you start reading it, as soon as I start reading it and the vibe of the song, it just grabs into those memories and it just starts playing them on my head. <laughs> like, what is going on here, mate? Like, stop it, stop. I've only got three brain cells anyways, but they, <laughs> they work They're magic. They're overworking right now. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. Dude, that bit, oh my gosh. That way he's... I like that side of the story, you know? Because you always he's the get bad the... guy. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Would you take him back? And then you play the Da Vinci song. <laughs> and <laughs> then you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you move on with your life and carry on. And then, We're not about to be effing with F boys. And then you, pre- you 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 press play and then Lee Lee He or Lee Hai Brief is playing. <laughs> Dude, this is actually a movie playing. <laughs> this is like a, a full soundtrack for a movie. And then just to finish it all off, we just listen to Crush. <laughs> Whilst you're, you're you know when you're exhausted. Of crying, you've cried so much. <laughs> you've cried so much that you're not about to fall asleep, but you're so exhausted from crying that they're just laying on the floor looking at the ceiling, and then you listen to Crush, and you're like, "Okay, round two, here we go." <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? We saw. It's like sometimes I'm not sad. Sometimes I want to be sad on purpose and play sad music. <laughs> it's, like, it's like yeah, dude. Just so I can survive. feel sad. I feel that. I feel I that. Feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell I yeah. Feel that. I so, think that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why we're doing this. Why are we doing this? Okay. I told you to bring tissues. Yeah, how so? That's okay. It's okay. It's Everything's gone. okay. <laughs> Go on. His voice is so unique, isn't it? What do you call it? A soprano? It's a high tenor. He does look like the guy who would break your heart. Does seem like a bad guy. Yeah. With a good side. He lives with speechless, it's so weird. Nice. It's such a great idea for a video, man. It's so clever. It's busy enough. It's just... And you don't really need a million dollars for that. Great work, man. Difficult to I'm commentate so into to that. This. Yeah, it's very difficult to commentate to it because. And the video is so hypnotizing. You're really like going with the whole change and different settings and lightings. It's so clever because they picked a red outfit, which changes with different lighting. True, yeah. 
red look red, orangey yeah look black. can can change depending on what type of direct lighting you're you're uh, putting into it so yeah sometimes it looks black sometimes it looks yellow so, so it's, it's a, yeah. yeah so really clever choice and probably not the most expensive video to make well you say that probably not the most expensive video to make i didn't say it was cheap no that camera it must be a joke and the backdrop i don't know how they do that so i don't know the, the actual maybe that's post editing and then you're just playing with lighting maybe here and green screens perhaps dude if that's see that is such a great idea so clever and it's so affordable and it's so effective yeah i mean well, it could be really expensive but no it has to be compared done to them. really well like oh, green yeah. screen is a tricky subject you have to do it really well yeah but you know it's like marvel movies they use green screen it's just the production team and, and the editing team and the yeah. special effects team is outstanding so and these guys have the enough resources to do that they have everybody to I do mean, anything they're pretty much the trendsetters of whatever k-pop is yeah right it, it was big bang who did pretty much set the trend you're you're right i think it, i think so and i i learned oh didn't really learn just reading off a comment <laughs> uh, that they are second generation they're not the first generation ah so uh, 90s because uh, they there was there was a previous generation 90s k-pop wow who yeah. would have known uh i i should have probably screenshot it the comment That's but they're so second cool. generation girls generation big bang i think super junior, super junior. fits on that uh i think they're second generation not too sure let us know if that's actually 2 PM, true 2 p.m they must be second generation too right all yeah, right there's a bunch of names that again we're obviously learning as we go so i, I don't really know so cool, much though. i'm just learning with you so uh, do let us know like what were the first generation capable that would be super interesting to wouldn't watch it be, wouldn't it be cool to watch the first generation yeah. of capable and then like watch the, the second generation band. then third then fourth i think i think the new guys now like the bts the exos i think they're fourth and then the eight c's are even a fifth oh, that's so cool. like twice or you know xo bts uh maybe psi fits in second generation or third i have no idea yeah really no interesting idea. really interesting stuff to see how they've evolved that's so cool keep reading the lyrics right I'm really so interested verse two it says it may be easier to just die than to earn your forgiveness Aww. i sing this song but i don't know if my truthfulness will get through to you i want you to be happy and that's <sighs> quoted so maybe that's something she said to him or he said to her i couldn't even tell that simple lie oh it's, a, it's something he said to her i just pray that you'll come back i'm sorry and then the chorus is please just once if i can just if i can just see you i'm okay with losing everything i have i'll meet you even if it's in a dream and we can love again just as we are and then i don't know if we're, yeah we're, we're definitely past the bridge be, yeah you think it's over that that it's our time that is our time but i can't accept those thoughts i can't let go because you never know my love for you you your love for me we'll never find a love the same again nobody knows we always know yeah it's, a, uh, it, it's that untold story of, of of romance between two people yeah but he was the toxic one and it's okay <laughs> <laughs> Well, but but what he I'm just taking his maybe, words. Maybe maybe he wasn't even that bad. Maybe he, you know, it, well, it must have been because they well, broke up. He and toxic he said, words. That was very interesting. Yeah, he, he said that. cruel words. Cruel words. Yeah. And I'm sorry I made you cry with my cruel words. Yeah, he toxic. I think uh, one of the things. But it's okay. Let, let's finish it off, and then I, I I'll tell you something that I saw uh, before. All right. <laughs> Such a performer though. Yes. Maybe that's why the video is so good. True. Yeah, I feel like we're, we're thinking anyone could do it and I, no, I don't, I don't no, think no, they, I don't they, think they could do no. yeah. it. You gotta be that good of a performer. Just look at the way he stands, dude. Everything about him is just... Untitled 2014. Something definitely happened in 2014. That's all I can tell oh, you. Yeah. So what I, what I was saying, I think maybe I've mentioned it in, in previous times is dating a celebrity, it's oh, it's not I a know. good deal because it isn't a deal. 
you're always losing in that deal. The relationship isn't 50 50. That I heard was it? Robert another, Pattinson speak about this. Unless you're another celebrity, though. Even then, you're never just as famous as your partner. Fair enough. Very rarely does that ever happen. And maybe that's why, in those relationships, that's why they're slightly, slightly successful. You, like the what, what's that guy that used to um you're gonna absolutely grill me for this because i should know his <laughs> name he did two and a half men after charlie shin left aston kutcher yes yes come on give me five okay let's try again <laughs> oh no yeah so aston kutcher yeah so aston kutcher aston kutcher he did a he, he did a interview where he's talking about the love of his life which is obviously Mila Kunis yes Efra woohoo go look about talking about show business what machine yes unbelievable so so proud of you so um he was talking well, about that manito. and you know they're, they're pretty much just as famous as mm -hmm. each other and they've they've gone but they also started together yes so that that maybe that's not a good example but I was just listening to Robert Patterson say that and he says it's not a good deal because even if even if you're famous if I'm in movies right now I'm gonna be in the interest of the public eye more than you are mm -hmm. so our privacy will be invaded not because of you because because of me I will be the most important one in the relationship I'm gonna be the one that's gonna be gone I'm gonna be the one that has more business to do in that specific moment yeah you you have and then come into come into terms to the idea that you no longer what you are in your house or your, pr your, your privacy, your privacy is gone. Coming to, coming to, to peace with that idea, it's a really bizarre idea. Yeah, I don't Dates think... are never our dates, you know? Uh, it's the public stage. Yeah, it, going out, it's never just us going out. Eating in public, it's not just us and the food and the... No. And the environment, yeah. People will treat us differently because we're famous. Yeah, It's yeah. not a good deal, and I, and I thought, wow, that's so interesting that's because... such a clever... Yeah, that's... Well, what a lonely... That's a, that's a really lonely life. Yeah. Or may maybe not lonely. Maybe hollow. No, I think lonely it's the word because you can be lonely surrounded by people. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. To the shay. <laughs> to the shay. <laughs> All right. Let's, What's next? Uh, XO, yes. <laughs> uh, Again, another Ephra input into this. Well, what else did I uh, recommend? This. XO. <laughs> yeah, XO. Uh, wait. In Japan, Bali and I were just joking around, and we were like, uh, you know, I didn't know what K-pop was six months ago, right? <laughs> and maybe I was dating a girl, and then she would be like, oh yeah, I was listening to this band, and I just see a bunch of you know boys, Korean boys, and, you'd be and like, I'd be like, why are you listening to mm -hmm. that? You know, like what is that? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like I can't understand what they're saying. Like, I was like, yeah, they're good. I think I heard BTS once, and I'm like, yeah, that's why, right. catchy. Ephra, six months later, BTS rules. <laughs> no, I think, I think. I think my opinion would have been the 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 same later on, anyways, because they are taking over the world slowly and slowly. And one of the things I I, I think I've I've been able to do consciously, I've, I've forced my, not forced myself, but I've consciously wanted to do, not with this, just with music all around the world, is as I grow as a as a as a percussionist, as a musician, as a rapper, as a maker of music myself, and and. A, I don't know, whatever you call it, content creator, whatever. Uh, I, I want to learn from other people. Yes. And I, I've, I've burst a bubble that I thought didn't exist, which was, I didn't even know there was other industries in the, in the planet. You know, like, it, that sounds so ignorant to say, but I didn't know this was so big. I, I, didn't, I didn't know French music had such an impact in, in, West, in, in, in American music. I didn't know Australian grime was so heavily inspired by British grime and, and there's Irish grime and there's Scottish grime yeah. and, and there's underground Korean rap and there's underground German rap and, and now, you know, there's music from Kazakhstan. Yeah. The best singer in the world is from Kazakhstan. Yeah. When in the planet would I have known that? You know, no. thanks to the online world and the online community and, and you know, what, 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 what we've tried to, to create and stuff. But I, I'm not... I, we were joking about it. It's like, you know, what would you do now if you're on a date or whatever, you're in an interview, someone, someone asks you, like, you're like in a interview for a brand or you're doing this and then, I'm at, you know, I, I do tennis, so that's mainly what they ask. Uh, they never ask anything else, but what if, like, you know, because of this, they ask you, like, oh, yeah, K-pop. Go. I'll be like, oh, <laughs> I actually know quite a bit, you know, like, I don't... I actually, don't. <laughs> let me take out my resume. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, and they'll be like, can you name us a few? Like, yes, mate. 
<laughs> what style do you want? Yo, what do you want? What generation? What, what, what ge- like what genre are you yeah. into? <laughs> what, what are you really into? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's so bizarre, and I think I think I encourage if you've ever been in the position where I've been, which is you only listen to a certain genre of music, or or you really only listen to to just music in English. I think taking that step of just being able to admire music that breaks the language barrier, it's uh, it's crazy. And I admit it, I was I was never one of those. I, the only bar- language barrier I used to have is Spanish and, and English. Yeah. You know, but I don't think most people even know there's such a thing as French hits. That's true. I agree. That there is such a thing as German rap. That mm-hmm. there is such a thing as Korean R and B, which I've said it. Eighty percent of the music I've heard in the last twenty eight days. <laughs> Since you know we're locked in, I, it's it's Korean, yeah, and that's wild, and it's so good. <laughs> yeah, let us know what your favorite. I think let maybe let me put it like this because I I've wanted to dwell a little bit harder into, um, like what are the big names overall, in 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 sort of the K-pop world, not K-pop, but just like the Korean world. Mm-hmm. So, for ballads, like who's your like what are your favorite top five ballad artists? You know, we, we've learned there was a few common denominators in the R&B. You kept seeing the the Zions. The Zion T. Zion T. T. You kept seeing the Sam Kims. You kept seeing Dean, the Dean. Crush. The, Zico. Yeah, you kept seeing. You know, the, those th- these names kept coming up, and then I w- kind of want to know now what they are in uh, in ballads, so I can not only you know we're discovering as we go. Yeah, los Alejandro Sanz. Yeah, who are the Camilas? Yeah. Who are the Sin Banderas? Yes. Who are the um, yeah 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 the the masters of ballads? It's Jesse Joy. Jesse Joy's ballads. Kind of, ballads yeah. yeah. Pop you know ballads. these are the things we grew up with. So if you're from there, like what were the things you grew up with? And as as we keep dwelling into music from all over the world, right now it's Korea, you know. But once we start dwelling in music from all over the world, and and you um we hope you join us on that journey too. We 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 want to sort of learn. Who are the big boys in, in in every industry, and then also know who are the like underrated ones. I feel like there's some like Sam Kim to me is so underrated in the fact that he was born in Seattle. Yeah, yeah, but there there is that a uh, cultural barrier in in Korea. If you weren't born and raised in Korea, they kind of don't look at you like this like the same. Right. They look at you as a foreigner a little bit. No way. Yeah, because. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're not, not really Korean. from there. Yeah, oh, but geez. in Venezuela it used to be the same though. Really? You, yeah, I yeah, remember dude. that. Yeah, I it's remember that. I mean, I used to have friends that were like from Peru, Peru, and like I used to have Mexican friends and American friends that were Colombian. Venezuelan. They were Venezuelan as Venezuelan as it gets, but people will still call them foreigners. You know, ah, I viene el gringuito. Yeah, the, the only the only the only, only dif- the only difference with Latin American culture when it comes to that is that I truly believe like. I, I just think, especially Venezuelan people, they just don't know what racism is. Yeah, they I just, actually, no, I think they just... They don't know what it is. No, I think people just take it with a grain of salt. They don't really make it that deep. But I remember my friends that were foreigners, they used to be, they used to be like, yeah, they you guys... They just know what joking around yeah, is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they knew it was joking around, but even my friends that were from, like, I used to have friends, like, she was from Peru, and, yeah, she used to always say, yeah, you guys joke about it, but... Um, <laughs> I know I'm not part of you. Like I oh, know Jesus. I'm not. I'm, I know I'm not oh, considered a Venezuelan. Right. But no. But it wasn't like for her. It wasn't deep. Like she just knew. Like uh, she used to say to me, "I just know my place. I know, <laughs> you know." But she was literally one of us. Mm. But uh, I. So I understand that part in Korea. You know, right. maybe the, maybe that it's not as deep as we think it is. Right. Maybe it's like how we see it in Venezuela. Like, oh, she's just from another country. Whatever. Yeah, I, but I, we still make that remark, you know. Yeah, well, one of the one of the like the the things, once you step into different countries in the world and you see the huge cultural differences that exist, because you only really reali- only really realize that when you travel. When you're living in another country, no, not when you travel. When you live in another country. Good distinction. Because when you travel, everything's perfect. Everything's fine. Because you're a tourist and everything just finds finds you well. Who's that comedian that used to say it's like you travel? If you travel to a country, it was so funny. He used to say something like along the lines of, "If you travel to a country, you're a tourist. You know, it's like heaven. But then when you go there, you try to live, it's like hell. So it's, yeah. like, it's like they put you in a little elevator and then you just descend. But yeah. it, it's 
I think it's a good, it's a good distinction. But only when you live, really, do you really get to see everything at its true colors, and, and especially those cultural differences. Mm -hmm. But I think in, in Venezuela, one of, one of the, I think it was a blessing, really, that everything is in such a light-hearted manner. Yeah, everything's it, a joke. It's so yeah. weird that that like, you would ever have even have those topics of conversations. Yeah, for like nobody would like even really interesting hardcore topics we will make like we will make them really light-hearted and, and even but you are it right would be, though it, it would be easy to get along with the hard the hardships of life because I, we just had like a, a light-hearted but you are right I, I did notice now that i'm outside that like certain musicians didn't really pop in venezuela even though they were from venezuela mm -hmm. but if they have like a spanish background then they would go to Spain and then they became huge over there. Yeah, Carlos uh, Baut is one of them. Yeah, so you're, yeah, it may, you are right, it's very interesting. It isn't just Korea that does that. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, so, right. yeah, I understand that. So I understand why he might be seen as like underrated. I also think that perhaps he's with a small label. That could also be a problem. That could also be I thought I issue. used the word underrated. I, I, I shouldn't have used that word. I, I think that that word goes gets thrown around and it's like, what do you mean underrated? People know his talent. And he has a fan base. Yeah, you know but I mean? he's not as popular as he should. People should think but he should be. Is that because? Wow, I'm having a hard time speaking today. Is that because lack of marketing, lack of marketing budget in the label, as you said, size of the label? Is that because? Uh, uh, so maybe not is his interest. Maybe he may doesn't want to be huge. Maybe he, yeah, that's another one. Maybe the genre isn't really what goes just like. Pfft, Mainstream. Mainstream over there. Maybe his point, he, maybe his object, we don't know his object. That's why I'd love to talk to this, you know, th this type of uh, individuals because we just don't know. Yeah, we only see a, a very, very far surface yeah, uh, from the distance as well. We see a surface from a distance. So yeah. it's like very hard to, to tell what actually is happening. It's really interesting though. I really yeah. like this. Okay, let's, let's go with XO. Wait, in Japan, so it's going to be live. Yes. Nice. Yes. That scared me. <laughs> oh, no lyrics again. No, I think you might. They might have it. Ooh, look at the setting. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, this is recent. Oh, yes, backyard. Yeah, because the O's are. Yeah. And human Imagine, is not yeah. even late. No. Oh God. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> I love it. Oh, dude, look, look at that. that. It's like they're floating on stars. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> I'm going back. I'm sorry. Yeah, go, put it put it right from the beginning, actually. Sure, no problem. It's just because I was trying to get the lyrics. The chemistry is really good, dude. Oh, they're so cool. And I like they put a sofa and stuff. Yeah, the setting is brilliant. It's like they're swimming on this sea of stars. It's like they're just making music here. Look how they love each other. <laughs> Are you ready, bro? Are you ready? I love Becky on down there. That's so unusual. Childhood. I love it. <laughs> What are those things, lanterns, that people throw up in the air? Um, Light lanterns. Yeah. Doesn't it look like... It does look yeah. like that. Floating lanterns. That's please. Oh, yes. It's so clean. Boston. Yeah, you're right. He's the low key guy. Yeah, yeah, he's so low key. Say hi. Becky and is so good. Oh, I 
Oh, hello. <laughs> Are you singing? <laughs> I love that you keep singing. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Ooh, yeah. Unbelievable. Oh. He's got music notes in his top. Joke. Since when does he sing? Joke, man. <laughs> oh my nice. god! Nice. <laughs> Guys like Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's loving it. the night talent dude that's crazy oh it's beautiful the clarity dude, that's nuts yeah he has the clearest tone Those two are crazy. Dude. That's why it's so impressive that it can go so low. That's crazy. I don't know why I was expecting dude, him to go to a seventh at yeah, the yeah. end. Well, he did it before, so. Yeah. I was, I was totally waiting for him to go into that seventh. Dude, and the sound engineers of that bloody concert. What the f that is crazy. Do you know what I love about the fact that Suho was interrupting Chaniel and he just suddenly stopped singing? That you could see it's right there, alive, right there, and oh, then. Yeah. And there's no backing tracks, there's nothing but. Well, you could hear them. a bit of braveness from the beginning, so it's. It's so great. It's undeniable, but it's. Uh, Ephra, no, I'm, that just, is I'm so saying special. it because only Becky on at one point had a little tiny problem with the innie yeah, where he, he lost like, himself yeah. a, kinda, a little bit. But apart from that, no one, bro. You Nothing. didn't see anyone do this. You didn't see anyone off. You didn't. Just perfect. It's Calibrated to perfection, everything there. That's nuts. Beautiful. It's beautiful. What a performance. I love EXO Live. That's what I, I mean. I love anything they do live. This, it's so special. This is this is the point I was trying to make. It. You can't deny talent. You can't. It doesn't matter if it's like if they they're from Korea, Mars, or Jupiter, and I don't know any music from there. And if I if you show me that for the first time, it mm. still would have been the same. Same, uh, 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 like in impressiveness. It, it still would have been just as impressive. Sorry. So impressiveness. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word. But I'm just trying to make that point go across. Like it isn't because I'm a fan. No, no, no. It, it, it really, if you want to be subjective, if you want to be professional here. Subjective. You mean objective? Objective. Yeah. yeah. My bad. Um, we are struggling. So much. I think the emotions are getting in the way of my brain. <laughs> Illegally, yeah. Uh, but yes, if you want to be totally objective and professional here. I think EXO, overall, the whole of them, all of them, yeah. have perhaps the best vocal uh, training. They're the most technically clear and clean. As a group. Sort as of thing. a group. Yeah, yeah I agree. Um, all of them, including Lei. Uh, I think all of them have... We forget that Lei is a like, genuine singer. Yes. Every single time. Why is it taking? Does it take me by surprise? I have no idea. But it it always does. And I have to be honest. You want to know? Because for me, the female version would be Mama Mood. They're technically beautiful. They're Ghost Generation is a joke, though. 
Yes, girl, yes, girl yes, side. yes. But I don't know much of Girls' Generation. I'm we with you with the Mamamoo. Uh, we have to learn a bit more. I have to say I'm still a bit ignorant with with them. And I know that there are other vocalists that are just as beautiful. But um, as, a as, group, a fool, yeah. as a group, Mamamoo for me have the beautiful, beautiful singing technique. And then in the male voices, I think EXO as a whole have the cleanest, the cleanest technique singing wise. I agree. They really do. Every time I hear them, I sort of go to this weird place mm. where I'm just like so relaxed. I, I, sometimes individuals, sorry, sorry. Yeah. There, are, there are individuals in every band that just naturally stand out, technically speaking, and vocal, vocally, uh, tec- vocal technique. They just stand out naturally. But as a group, yeah. I, th- I think they would be. Well, I don't know. I, I'll ask you as a from a, from a singer's perspective. Or and then as a, as a sort of like a vocal uh, coach, if you're trying if you're trying to coach these guys, mm-hmm. say when they were younger stuff like that, I think there would be a a a pleasure to to teach together, or or you know not even teach like coordinate things and not maybe this maybe that because direct they, direct yeah because mm-hmm. they, it's not just that they have the voices and the talent and the work and technique. I, I'll ask you if you like technique wise if they're unbelievable, and mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure you're gonna say yes. Because you've said it off camera and you, you've, I think you've said it on camera as well, but from from like a singer, how how can you have sort of like the same? Because they all seem to. It's like they're all one sort of thing. Like they, they all have, have the like same unity, voice, yeah. But they don't, and they're all still super strong enough. They have that what I call the sort of got seven effect that they have. You know, got seven. I always say one of my favorite groups. So I always say that. The reason why I think they're my favorite group is because each they're one dynamic. of them is a star. Oh yes, yes. You know what I mean. Each one of them is a genuine star. Like it, they, they, they have that uh, flair. I feel the same with EXO, but vocally I feel like there are unity. It's so weird. It's very strange. Yeah. It's so weird. That that but that comes from classical technique. They right. they they probably have trained all together. They probably have. I know that they all individually have singing lessons, but I'm pretty sure that. When they're vo- uh, uh, doing rehearsals for vocal rehearsals, is what we call them. They um, they they practice in kind of like a choir setting. Right. Yeah. That, that yeah. I think I think that's that's the way I, my assumption. That's that's the way I would. Yeah, let us know if it's. I would think of it. I think where the unity uniform sound comes from is probably from the from the setting of choir singing. Right. Okay. It's a bit more classical. Even though they're singing uh, modern. more modern pop stuff, yeah. um, but I think that's where the the unity and the the, the um, yeah the strong vocal line comes from. I, I think it comes from La Fuerza de la Unión. I think like we're all one type of thing, and that's their slogan too. Right. Okay. Interesting. We're one. Right. Interesting. So they I, I I've said it a thousand <clears throat> times. They're one of my favorite groups to just listen to end on end life and I think that I'm gonna say it, they're better life man mm-hmm. they're better life and that's wild to say it's the same as Mama Moo they're better life you have every odd against you when you're alive man and they it's not they normal just that is not normal every at all single time. and they're still it's a show yeah. that was that was a show on its own they're sitting in a couch but their chemistry they're joking around their presence their personalities just yeah. shine that's worth a hundred bucks just that performance yes okay Next. Oh, you're going to like this. Mm-hmm. Super Junior. Rai... Uh, I can't say his name. Just say Wookie. Wookie. <laughs> That's better, yeah. That's From that, Super I've Junior. I've just given up on how to properly pronounce his actual name. So, <laughs> uh, this is his solo, though. All right. I'm not over you. This is his solo stuff. I think it was last year he released it. Um, I'm not over you, Jesus. <laughs> you imagine someone writing you that. Could you imagine that? It's probably a long lost lover, somebody an old flame, somebody that you that you just kind of like moved on in your life, and then you write this song about that one person. Yeah, I think if I wrote a song like that, I'd probably name it. No, that's shameless. I'd probably name her. No, why what? would you do that? That's just hey, straight straight up exposure. Why not? Say her name was. In so, <laughs> I, I can't say a name now because people will actually start searching it's it like, out. Who, who's that? Yeah, yeah. And I was actually about to say a name. 
<laughs> oh, and here we go. Who is it? <laughs> yeah. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we have the full profile here on the comments. Dude, the internet is scary. <laughs> I know. The internet, so the internet will forever be unbeaten. Yes. So yeah, I I, want, I I always wonder like who do they write these songs to? Sometimes, yeah, you know, so it's like for the fandom, and I still think that's not true. Still think it's for a lady. <laughs> You know? Remember, most of the stuff usually goes written by some of the somebody ah, else. Ah, true. So they might dedicate it to their fans, but the original writer might have a, a flame, a somebody, okay. a someone that you're they right. wrote that to. Go so on. it is different you're right, you're to right. everyone. Completely right. So yes, let's have a look. I'm not over you. Oh, we know. <laughs> this is gonna be. So it's generated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will be. Look at that, though. That's very romantic, isn't it? Sending letters, or just weird. No, it's true romance. That is dead. <laughs> oh, his voice is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Got the lyrics. Oh, turn it up, mate. He's got such a sentiment to his voice. It's a clean aesthetic. Very unique. My God. Romantic. That's it. <laughs> I'm out. I can't handle that. Dude, a lot, a lot of this like great vocalists we, we, we've gotten to know, they have that capability and that's unique only man to this part of the world yes you don't i mean obviously people from here could probably do it maybe uh <laughs> maybe i don't know i don't see them doing it though no, in records yeah. or live or any of that stuff so it's very unique that they like doing those sevenths and, and i don't know what else professional talk we would say <laughs> suspended and yeah yeah uh, harmonics they're yeah. not the natural fall on the note yeah i call so them, I call them uh, suspensions and stuff the bouncing of the ular <laughs> <laughs> talking about his vocal capabilities i think he has such a sentimental voice like i don't know what it is that his natural vibrato gives you uh, a very it touches your fibers really quickly that there there's something that triggers emotion quite easily with his voice it, it, that's what i call in my monkey brain language breaks the language barrier yes Technically speaking, is his natural vibrato. Really? If you were looking at it from a technical perspective, what you would think it's is emotion is probably just his natural vibrato. Not taking away the fact that this is honest, true emotion. Yeah, yeah but I'm, I, um, my uh, but question here, if so, you're saying these people are sort of like born like that, like? No, no, no. This is just the way that he sings. Yeah, but I'm saying this is sort of like that innate uh, uh, ability, nature, nurture skill ability don't believe argument. in that though I no think, no i'm saying i think anyone anyone can learn to do that be that good on, on no but have that effect i i believe that right you can be as like i've i've been training with people that have never sang in their lives and suddenly they 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 get some real true reactions from 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 the audience they can cause from, that effect. yeah from from pure hard work and struggle dude That's so yeah. and i think that's where also where the true emotion comes from the right. the journey itself but um if you're talking because if you think about it technically what do you hear when somebody's about to cry the natural crackle in the voice the voice breaks <laughs> the yeah the the breathiness that you know and or that here. kid or that kid that when he's about to cry sounds like the purge alarm <laughs> That's right here. Um, I thought you were gonna say something interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he does have a natural vibrato in his voice, which 
makes you feel naturally emotional like na you you feel naturally inclined to be emotional touched by touched him. by his tone of voice his ring yeah i'm sure so there's many beautiful. ladies that wouldn't be mind being touched by wiki oh wow efra come on i've been it's true but yeah but, <laughs> but come on i've been i've been very come good this come on i I've was been, being so professional here i've been amazing this podcast i haven't made any like inappropriate stuff it's not inappropriate it's normal monkey ring <laughs> yeah literally <gasps> Oh, oh no! There you go. What happened? What was that beep? Ooh, beep! I don't know what I did, but that you beep know. sounds like like an alarm. It's coming, you come your... Yeah, I think you can break. Press play. That backdrop again, sort of effect. I'm waiting for you. Oh, that's beautiful! I love that. Yeah, you see the natural vibrato and breathiness into it. <laughs> And the lyrics is really nice. The thing is, this song's lyrics is very simple and it's very short. Like it, 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 it does a lot of uh, repetition. Yeah, it goes back to its original uh, uh, message. You know, the, I'm mm -hmm. not over you and stuff like that. But it, it's the little pieces that you get mm -hmm. is that they're enough to break someone's in half. It's like whatever I write, I keep going back to the beginning. I try holding back to uh, back my hands, but in my head, you darkly spread. I'm not over you. I'm not over you. Painful words. I repeat myself endlessly. Huh. I'm waiting for you. Why is so pretty? Jesus. <laughs> Why is he so romantic? <laughs> it's Go not on. fair. It's not fair that he's that good. Yeah, now that I know the lyrics, I have to look down. So. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. That's nice. That chord arrangement is beautiful. I like that. She's perfect for that video, man. That's a good, 
It's a good representation of how you feel sometimes. Lost in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, literally. But there's color. You know, it isn't. It isn't like people sometimes there's say life. like. This, yeah. Yeah, like it, it. You know, it isn't dark or, or, or just sad. But it you're just, just stuck in your box. A bit lost, yeah. yeah. And you can see outside, but for some reason. You can't get out. And there's, you know, this half of the box is bloody missing, and there's no door. You can just leave, but for some reason you decide to stay. Yes. Very weird. You know, I also think that that whole that station where he was singing in represents him trying to search for her. Yeah, in space, which is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Yeah, he was trying. Yeah, and the the stars and the satellites, everything's like trying to find pinpoint that one person. It's perfect. Yeah, and it's maybe that 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 uh, train of thought of because he's in space, it's like whether life exists there, so whether she's still out there. Yeah. You know, and are you are you brave enough to even look, you know? And are you looking, but just hopelessly looking, because there's nothing there. And I feel like those two key changes there just made the whole world a difference. Yeah, dude, I'm adding every song I think so far to the to my a new playlist. I made up <laughs> new playlist, literally the whole thing we watched uh, last, last week. week. So I'm making the new one now. The new one is sad to cry. <laughs> <laughs> tough, tough day at training. Play this. <laughs> In the, you see him in, in, in on the way back from from training. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just having a tough day, so I'm listening to Korean ballads. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just decide to take a train. I'll just wait outside until it's raining, then I take a train and I put my hand <laughs> in the window. <laughs> That's why they call it window pane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one it's none other than BTS. Yes. And I I think super requested by the way. Yeah, very. I I think we <laughs> really it just lets me know how uh, just on the surface we are because just listening to the previous album or the latest album release uh which was Got 7 uh they have so much music. So much. And then because we heard BTS uh what was it? On oh uh, there is uh, Don't not, don't tell me Singularity. Seven. Oh, Singularity. Was it Singularity by V? Yes. Singularity, right? Yes. One of my favorite yes. songs by BTS, I think. Such a cool song. Actually, I say it every time I hear a BTS song. So yeah, Singularity. I I searched up just BTS right on 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 like iTunes, Spotify, Google Music, and stuff, and then it sort of gives you all the albums, mini albums and albums. So the amount of music they have, they have like over like fifty songs. There. That's awesome. That is beautiful. Yeah, they have so. Let me, let me check. Maybe I'm tripping. But there was so Maybe many I'm songs. Tripping. There was so many like mini albums and projects and stuff like that. Look, ninety six. So obviously you have Map of the Soul and Love Yourself. That's twenty six songs, mate. It's awesome. The, the other one was twenty songs, which I think is the only album this year over fifteen songs that I think you 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 could. You every could hear track, it. every track was had a reason to be there. Yeah, you could hear it without skipping a song. Yeah. Dude, in in just in four albums, they have like over seventy songs. They have so much music. That's awesome. Yeah, so uh, we're literally just in the little... The little surface. Little puddle. Yeah, so this was super requested, and uh, this is the answer uh, to love yourself. Love yourself answer. Epiphany. Epiphany. So the, obviously there was a question before this right. that we obviously don't know about. I want to listen to Stigma. Once we do like an R&B again, we're so listening to Stigma. You th this is the difficulty of this. This is the difficulty. I can't hear it. <laughs> Until we do it. Yes. It's bloody annoying sometimes. Because <laughs> it's just there on the recommended. Just one click away. Just stay away from it. Stay strong. Let's go. I'll give you the I'll give you the little de de delight of listening oh, to yeah, this, this one, now. Yeah. This one's just to make apparently it Apparently the yeah, apparently the, the lyrics are like really encouraging to self love and encouragement and stuff. Like that whole map of the soul love yourself was such a strong message to everybody I think their message in that on that album was so like wow it's a lovely message right there and then but you, you know I love friend. yeah but I love the fact that they didn't make it cringy because that 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 agenda could easily be like oh <laughs> you don't really want to go there yeah yeah so maybe, but, maybe too much in, like in your face it can be like that yeah but I think they, but did they, well. they played it so taste like so well so I well. think it's because their music's good I good think that's point. what it is yes yeah, if their music was trash, then it would be like, uh. Yeah, it's like, what are you doing? Why? Why? Yeah. 
We're home. But well, they're really good. Fifty-seven million, dude. These numbers are just and so are hard not, to understand. Remember, these are not even title tracks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. They have so much music. It's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's good. It's, it's good a, for us. It's a good time it, for people that are uh, like huge fans and stuff to be a fan of of, of uh, BTS and all these other bands because they're creating a lot of music, mm-hmm. a lot. It's constantly there. a lot, man. <laughs> Oh, cool. There's two of him. I'm trying to figure out what's in the painting. Is it the same person? Yeah. Dude, their videos That's are so insane. Cool. <laughs> so that's the version that leaves, that's the version that stays at home. himself you know he's talking about himself i'm the one i should love right my that shining soul of mine i'm the one i should love I was, i'm trying to figure out who uh the the previous song to this oh yeah because i kind of i kind of want to see what was it what euf- comes before was it euphoria? It? euphoria what comes before this epiphany Maybe look at it on the album list. I want to go to the Genius because it shows before. Okay. Uh, Epiphany is the 13th track of BTS. Love Yourself. Is this Epiphany? Yeah, it is. is. Answer Epiphany. Right. Uh, (laughs) It's having such a hard time. Yeah, it doesn't... uh, Maybe... Maybe... I think the album, Love Yourself and answer <laughs> I don't know I don't know so the tag the, the 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 track was answer so it says it's a 13 track of a BTS love yourself answer I think it's just together mate I think it's just called love yourself answer mm, I have no idea no, and I neither. can't figure it out me neither I don't think that's it but you know good good try good try good try <laughs> literally Oh my god. But gosh. I think he's talking about loving himself, you know? Who's at a low at a low point. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I understand what he's trying to talk about, and that's what I said, that's the version of him that leaves the house. Yeah, but I think we got to the point where he's leaving the house. So I think we're watching we're watching a loop of him. Because there was also another version of him on the floor. With By the down. window, so yeah. Right. But so I, I think we're watching this like Vicious cycle. Yeah. Right. And I, I like that I like that line of uh, uh, I can't bear this storm in my heart because sometimes people it, most people think it's here maybe yeah, sometimes it's here. Sometimes I think this avocado. one's then this <laughs> avocado. It is. That's my <laughs> avocado. I think this one's harder to figure out. I'm gonna write a song about a storm and an avocado. avocado. <laughs> Make guacamole. Got it. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're watching like a cycle. Who's it? John Cook? Uh, Jin? I think it's Jin. Yeah, it's Jin. Yeah, mate, it's Jin. 
looking great for me. And that's how you feel, maybe. I, oh, but wow, look, it's going up. So cool. I think the storm. He's in his heart. The storm. He's inside of his heart now. Right. I see. That's, that's what I said. I once loved them in this world. Okay, I can't read, can read. Oh no, come on, write it in English too. Yeah, literally. That looks important. It looks so important. I think it's probably like, you know, a good little message. Yeah. Let's go. Cheeky sponsorship there by Ford. Okay, here, here's what I think the whole video represents. Sorry, hold on, before you say it. Who sang that song we really liked in the pre in the most recent album? Was it My Time Was John Cook and then Filter? Was it Jin? No, it was Jimin. It was Jimin. Okay, 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 okay. Cause I, I think that's one of my favorite voices, dude. Yeah, I like Jimin's voice. Jesus well. Christ! I actually think all of them are really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, I would say the same thing. But they're really good. Yeah, all of them. But okay, so going back to the video, the house, that room. It's him on in his mind. Yep. All right. So he kind of like has gone through the same loop loop thought. I can love myself. I can, you know, I'm the one I should love. Positive, reassuring loop thought. That's why we see it repeating itself in different stages. And then when we first see him, the well, second time we see him going out, and then he goes out in his storm to the storm I think it's him reflecting on his emotions and his feelings accepting them and that's the reason why the storm goes away and then when he goes back into the house he's back into his head I'm secure about it mate you could be right it's not it's not I don't think he's really like solid in his idea yet reason why he closes the windows to the outside world so like the public everything that happens outside I see that. I mean, until he finally starts to like piece himself together, yeah. and he heads out again. Okay. Yeah. I think that's 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 my analysis. That, that could make sense. Yeah. I didn't see that though. What did you see? I mean, I, I agree. I agree with but mo most things you said. I just don't think he's. I just, I don't think he was trying to to love himself at the beginning. I think, I think you're seeing that realization through the video. I don't think he was ah. trying. I think he was struggle you're seeing just his mundane boring sad black routine, and white reality repe repetitive routine of, okay. of every day feels the same there's different versions of me still the same day why are you so clever i feel dumb now I, no 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 <laughs> i don't know why you would say that you, you it's because you're like when i listen to you i'm like <laughs> you could makes, be right it makes so much sense no you shouldn't say that how did i not think of that you shouldn't say that because that's the magic of art that you, 
it's so that I love hearing you because it's so weird that it's unique <laughs> that you see that. I would have never seen that. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? You shouldn't say yeah. sorry or, or like smart. It, it, it's just what you see. I think that that's why I like watching videos with you because you sort of get to see this how different <laughs> we are. Not yeah. we. How different people's brains are. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're probably very alike. We're siblings. Yes. You know what I mean? So. And yet two worlds apart. Yeah. And imagine what the world. May. That's perceives. why I love it. That's yeah. why I love it's hearing so you cool. your side and stuff. But I think it, it's. It's a really good point. It's uh, yeah. I think I think we were just seeing that. A, a constant, non-stop, black and white, uh, numbness. Uh, uh, you, what do you call it when you taste something but it tastes of nothing? You know when you have like a blocked nose? Uh, uh, like you've lost. I want to say mild, but that's just a spiciness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, everything tasteless. Everything is so tasteless. Everything seems so worthless, so so irrelevant. And you're, it's a nice apartment. It has a nice view. It it he had it had everything he needed, you know. Yet all of that becomes completely irrelevant. And I think. When he goes outside, he, the first version of himself did it. So he's constantly battling this storm. And the song, and I think the video, makes that realization. He leaves. He finally makes the realization. And like this, the storm goes up. However, you're still wet. However, you're still trying to... You still went through it. Exactly. And you're still coming in exhausted. Tired. It's an exhausting yeah, battle. Yeah, yeah. Y you've gone through a storm. And I think the next bit is maybe where he's opened the window. He's realized... The sun, you've you've kind of won a bit. Yeah. So you've won a bit of the battle. You've won a bit of the battle, but now you have so much more left. So it's like you're okay. The sun, so you close it, right? That was a good breath of fresh it's air. Good breath of fresh air. There's change, and now I'm ready to head out again. But it's an exhausting, fatiguing, tiring reality that you have to go through all these battles. No one Is ever. Is that every single time you go out? And yeah. I like that because that's that's realistic. It's not like one day. Oh, I have to love myself, and then the next day you wake up and it was a tough night. You couldn't sleep. It, you had a nightmare, or it was like this, or maybe you just don't feel like it. But last night was such a re re I had such a re revelation. I should love myself. It's about me. And then yeah. you go outside again. You're like, oh, I gotta go to school, or I gotta write, or I gotta do this, and that's what I think the book represents. Yeah. You know, and then he goes outside, and then he's like, you know, here we go again. That's really what the journey looks like. Okay. I feel, enough. anyways. Yeah. Good point. Good point, mate. Good point, <laughs> good good point mate. Good. Well played. All right. Good sport. <laughs> what is it? The guy says, GG. 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 What? The guy. He ex <laughs> this guy explodes an egg. It was in his shoulder. <laughs> it was in his elbow. <laughs> he goes Shoots like this. in his ear. And he puts it, and it. The egg explodes. <laughs> and it's on his ear. In his ear. <laughs> oh my god, you did it. You can feel his discomfort because there's an egg in his ear. And Gigi. Then he, <laughs> he focuses on the camera, it's like, what? <laughs> Gigi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, British men for if you. you. They're very if, funny. I don't even know if he's British. He is. <laughs> if you've never seen that video, for the love of God, just watch it. Just search up. Search up. Guy. <laughs> Guy, egg Bicep explodes, egg. no, egg explodes no, in no, guy's no. ear. No, 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 you have to, know. I would put it in the search and you, you gotta be simple with it. Guy, bicep egg. <laughs> guy what? Bicep egg. Bicep egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, as you can see, and you can hear probably so far, the audio probably. had a bad we had a bad run with the audio this episode and we only just realized right now at the end of it all we weren't even supposed to end right now were we no we had like another three songs to go um but i think we're gonna have to cut it short Efra's incredibly disappointed and annoyed as you can see look at us see no it's not that it's just you know you try so hard and stuff <laughs> it's so angry. It's so crazy. I mean, it's okay. I, I, I sincerely apologize for the audio. I've tried so hard to to make, make the audio work, work man. Yeah. Uh, so, sometimes yeah. they just doesn't work. So yeah. Um, we apologize in, in in a late notice. I'm sorry about that. It's such a shame because I'm so much fun. Yeah. 
And and honestly, we just put so much love into it. Like when something goes wrong, is is a real, it's a real downer, you know. But uh, anyways, thank you so much for the constant support. If you stay here, don't forget to like and subscribe. We gotta do. We gotta do a part two. We're definitely gonna, we gonna do, do a part, part two. two. You right. guys have been awesome over Twitter, and we are watching your requests, even though sometimes we might not reply. We are definitely watching your request and we're putting it into our lists and we're taking all of that into consideration. And because of that, we're definitely going to do a part two of this with better audio, hopefully. No, uh, no definitely. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so look out for that one. <laughs> You'll probably see us throughout the week with more Feature Friday extra stuff. And yeah, and possibly. Uh, yeah, possibly. a new. Oh, that thing want to promote it now. Okay, let's not promote it now. New stuff coming up soon! Yeah. Suspense! Alright, thank you so much for staying through. Go Peace, on. Peace, man. Peace. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hi, Bodhi. Sup, people. If you're a dancer... <laughs> Sup, people. If you're watching this and you're a rapper or a beat producer... A singer, a ghostwriter, or even just somebody who likes new music. And this is for you. Feature Friday is the show where we make new music every week featuring your tracks, your raps, your lyrics, or yourself as an artist. There's no catch. This isn't one of those weird posts where you click on the website and you're trying to order airports and they say it's free and then you have to pay like a hundred thousand million dollars for uh, shipping. Uh, this is completely free. We understand how difficult it is in the music industry to get seen and there's so many amazing rappers and singers and beat producers out there. So this is just a place to showcase your skills. We showcase our skills, we make music every week, which we love doing anyways. We get to show new artists to new people and new people to the new artists. So if you'd like to get featured next, message me here on Instagram or email me and we will get in touch pretty soon. Please do it fast because uh, a waiting list is forming and we don't want anyone waiting around. Keep scrolling by. See you Friday. Peace. Bye-bye.